everyone welcome to the sugar and crumbs kitchen well i hope you're all sat nice and comfy and i've got a cake to decorate for you if you can hear the noise in the background i've got the fan on and i'm sorry about that if it bothers you let me know and i'll turn it off and i'll just melt and um but i, I turned it off before for the little preview and i was just dying um but anyhow let's see how we go so thank you for joining us tonight. I've got Simon in the kitchen. Hi, Simon. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm and just it's... checking the sound. Absolutely good. And uh, he's been here all afternoon, actually. He's been busy setting lights up. It's like, ooh, it's quite well lit up here, isn't it? <laughs> and then we've got Karen Naylor in the kitchen who's doing comments for me tonight, which is brilliant. Thanks, Karen. You're welcome. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> and then I just want to tell you tomorrow we're not going to go ahead and do the live tomorrow not for any other reason than it's too hot seriously um, it says the weather's going to be 30 here up in the north and I think it's 34, 36 down in the south and with how hot I already feel here in the kitchen and we haven't even got to that temperature yet I just really don't want to be here tomorrow so I'm going to spend my day down at Sugar and Crumbs Warehouse for the day instead um, Laura is on her jollies, Karen's on her jollies, so I'm going to get down there, help you in, and uh, I've also recruited a young man today, so I'm going to go and work with him for the day, show him what it's all about. So, and then we'll be back on Monday. So let me just tell you about Monday. Uh, Monday morning, Karen Griffiths will be back in the kitchen. She's off, back off her holidays. Monday night, we've got Cherry Chu back in the kitchen. So really looking forward to what she's going to do with Kate Lace. And then I don't know what else is going on. Oh, we've got event and uh, Cake Decoration Magazine on Saturday. So on Saturday, if Cake Decoration Magazine, I'm not sure if it's on their Facebook page or on their actual website, but they're doing a virtual event. They've got loads of people on there, including myself. Um, so do pop over and have a look at that. I think John sent you out an email tonight telling you about it. Press the link and you can actually um, email in and you can actually set yourself up for a little time at what time it comes on, all right? But tomorrow I'll get John to post a, a post to tell you where to go and actually find the event, right? So what are we making tonight? So can you see this pretty cake that we've done? I was going to make the cup and saucer, but I'll tell you about the cup and saucer in a minute. So we changed our mind and we're going to make a cake instead. So um, this is all I've done here is I've sort of like done an ombre effect. So I don't know which camera. Can you see well enough there, Simon? Yeah. So I've done an ombre effect of cake, and then I've used the book, I've covered it with flavoured icing sugar, and then I've actually done a drip. Now I've never, I'm not one for doing drips, you know that, um, mainly because they look like this when I do a drip. <laughs> but I thought I'd play with our whipping it up doing a drip, and I actually made it a little bit too watery. So it's good that I'm going to do my second cake, so I'm going to see if we can get that to firm up a bit better. And then we are going to make some pretty flowers. Do you want to see the overhead, Simon? So we're going to do some pretty flowers there. Uh, now these are not piped on. I've actually piped these onto uh, greaseproof paper, put them in the freezer, and then we set them out afterwards. So, but does it, doesn't it look pretty? And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. So you know what I'm like back on the front camera? So you know what I'm like, I am not a professional, but I do like playing about. And you know, I've had some challenging times in the kitchen today and um, I'm not perfect. But you know what, would you be happy with that? I know I would be, would you? Absolutely. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. And uh, everybody who's seen it today have said, well, this afternoon has said, oh, goodness, I like that. So to me, that's all that matters, isn't it? As long as it looks pretty and it looks acceptable and everybody is thrilled with it. And as long as when somebody gives you a compliment, you don't go, oh, did you see that bit? <laughs> oh, did you see that bit? Oh, no. You know, we've got to accept the compliments, girls, haven't we? So, um, I don't know what the feedback's like. Do you want to shout out some hellos, Karen? Oh, over 300 comments already. Oh, good, We've good. We've got lots of people. We've got somebody from Indiana. Oh, fantastic. Um, Hello. Just, sorry, trying to scroll back to find out that name. Uh, we've got Liz Mosley here, Elizabeth Lennox here, Ooh, hello. Margaret no, Binder, Alison Skurs on. Um, sorry, I can't find the lady for the lady's name for Indiana. No worries, make sure you say hello. If you're new, say hello and let us know where you are and how you found Sugar and Crumbs. And all the rest of you who follow us on a Monday and Thursday, um, a big hello as well to you guys. 
So um, tonight's uh, prize draw, we're going to give one of these away. It's a slate turntable. So really very, very nice. Okay, so for your like and share, this is what we're going to do. It's a slate Lazy Susan, but you can use it as a cheese board. You can put your cake on it, put anything on it really. So I just thought that'd be quite something quite nice and a bit different to give away. So that's your giveaway tonight. So start liking and sharing and uh, share with as many people as you can. That would be brilliant. Um, and we've got some other prizes to do we normally do the prizes on a Friday but because we're not going to be on tomorrow we've actually drawn the prizes and as we go through the night Karen will be shouting them out and putting them in the post so you can, Sharon can write the comments in the post hopefully everybody's watching and um, we'll, we'll, we'll give those prizes away as well right okay so we're going to use whipping it up tonight as well to make the drip but um, first of all let's start off with the buttercream so um, I put in the mixer there 250 grams of butter twice. So that's 500 grams of butter. I always use unsalted, but it doesn't matter. It's your personal taste. So if you don't like sugar and you don't like it because it's too sweet, then I would use either half um, of salted and half of unsalted. Or if you really don't like it too sweet, then use salted butter. And you know what? You can even, if you haven't got, if you've got just um, unsalted butter, you know what just give it a quick pinch of salt just a tiny pinch and that will sauce it out okay so um i've already whipped it can you all pop over to this camera simon yeah so i've already whipped it till it's really nice and soft you can see it so whenever you put your um, butter into the uh, mixer make sure that it's room temperature and it's lovely and soft so i'm just going to get it off and then show you what i'm going to do with it next so i'll show you how it is so if Simon nips over to the overhead, so look, you whip it so it's like margarine, yeah? Now when you're making buttercream, um, if you're going to use margarine or a sp spread, because I know like, there's a lot of people who are vegans and they have to use a spread, you will need more icing sugar to thicken it up. And in, in fairness, even put in a couple of tablespoons of royal icing as well uh, to help thicken it up. So that's um, the butter, all lovely and whipped lovely and soft and then we're going to add a kilo of icing sugar now my one of my favorite flavors is black cherry okay so this is uh, 500 grams of butter whip look at it it's just like ice cream isn't it look that's how you want it nice and soft no water's been added and um, hopefully this is part of the reason why we don't want to do the live tomorrow because when it gets hot everything starts melting doesn't it so I really don't want to do the live while things are going along like that I'm best off going to work, uh, and I've actually not worked in Bradbury since lockdown. Mm -hmm. So it'd uh, be nice to go down there and see what's going on. So I am putting in my whole uh, one kilo of icing sugar. You can put it in in two halves if you want to. You will see it sort of puffing off to one side. Don't worry. Now people mix their icing sugar different ways. Some people like to put the lid on at this stage, pop the lid on and put the mixture on full blast, entirely up to you. I don't, I prefer to chop it in, as I call it. So I just chop it all into the butter. I just find it a bit therapeutic doing this little bit. So I just chop it all in. What do you do, Karen, do you do it this way? I do, Yeah. Um, but I don't put it all in all at once. No. I tend to do it in three batches. Do you? Yeah. And you know what I used to? Mm. And I, I, I used to do that all the time. But for speed, I'm just going to do it yeah. this way. I do normally, just because when you put all the sugar in in one go, it, if your mixing bowl isn't quite big enough, it does go over the side. So, um, so I would normally split it up as well. But the cake I did today and the one I'm doing now, I put it all in in one go. So all we're going to do is chop it in. And you'll be able to see on the overhead. And it's like crumbling it up like you would for a crumble, really. Mm. So just keep lifting it up. Chopping it in. Now, because it's the summer and it's warm and tomorrow's warmer, I feel sorry for you guys who've got to make a cake tomorrow. I hope you can have your air conditioning out. So uh, we do have an air conditioning unit in here, but if we put it on, it makes that much noise. You wouldn't even hear us. It would drown us out. Can I just give a shout out to some of our newbies? Absolutely. We've got Lisa C. Hamill, hello, she's in Northern Ireland. Oh, hello, Lisa. Um, we've got Teresa Power, who says she's a newbie, first time watching tonight, which hasn't said where she is. Fantastic. Jean, but do let us know how you found us. 
Gina wins in Guernsey. She's a first timer. Guernsey. And so Guernsey. is Sarah Seaman. Oh, what from Guernsey? I don't Guernsey know was. where Sarah's from. Right. She hasn't said. Hello, ladies. Right, so okay then, so now that's all chopped in, you can see that now, I'm going to put it on the mixer, we're going to incorporate it, so that takes about 5 to 10 seconds, and then we're going to turn the mixer up for an extra 30 seconds, and we're, we should be ready, yeah? Just going to here. Now I did forget to get myself a cloth, you know what I'm like when I'm in the kitchen, I like a cloth to keep wiping things. So if you can see on this camera here, Simon should have you over here. So we're just turning it up, get it all incorporated. See how it's all pulling together now? Look, it's all pulling together, just like a cement mixer. <laughs> right, I'm ready. We're going to do 30 seconds, full blast. There we go, that's all we need to do. Simple. And that's just incorporated all the sugar. Yes, it has. Probably now, is. what I will do now is, because I'm going to crumb coat my cake as well, I'm actually going to add some water to it. Okay? But I'm just going to take it off the mixer because I just want to explain this to you. Okay, we have a quick question from yeah. Michelle Mitchell. Yeah. Um, she's used the whipping it up for the first time for tonight. And yeah. She's made some meringues. Yeah. And she says, wow, lovely. Oh, Can fantastic. you use any type of colour for the bag? Can you use any type of colour for the bag? Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Um, do you mean, um, we would always use gels to paint the bag. So you can either, um, either paint your bag with any gel you want. Or if you're going to use powder colour, obviously you need to... Um, Add a little drop of water and make it into a thick paste but uh yeah any, anything like that i wouldn't use a paint or anything so it would have to be a gel but any any brand will do okay and bianca van tonda would like to know how long you've mixed your butter for right okay so i always mix my butter five six minutes depending on how soft the butter is now today i actually got the butter out this morning so it was nice and soft so it went on the machine for five minutes and um, if it comes out the fridge and it's if it comes out the fridge and you've only had it out the fridge for an hour or two, you know what, I'd give it a little blast in the microwave, five, ten seconds, then get it in the mixer as well. But always a minimum of five minutes mixing, butter only, not butter and icing sugar, yeah? Now I want to cover a cake, so Simon just goes to the overhead here, so you can see that I'm paddling, yeah? So I'm going to take half of this mixture out because we'll use that for the flowers that we're going to make afterwards because that's perfect for what I want for flowers yeah and then we're going to keep the other half here and I'm just going to get the kettle and a drop of water because I want to loosen this up for when we um, decorate the cake for when we crumb coat the cake so just give me a minute going to go and get a clean cloth so just hold on one second okay we've got a question from um sorry the names did just disappeared off my phone um but she needs some assistance with her whipping it up she's used it to make a roulade today yeah uh but when she's taking it out of the oven um, it's, she says it's swimming in oil, um, oh. and she thinks that the only thing that she may have done wrong is not beating her butter long enough. I've got to be honest, I don't make the roulade, I make the roulade my daughter does, and if you go back to the Facebook Live, if you go to YouTube and watch the Facebook Live of Laura making the roulade, I would say it was probably about five weeks ago, mm. do you think it was? So I'd probably say it's five weeks ago. Go and follow what she did. You've obviously missed something. There's something wrong. I've never heard that because there's plenty of people who are watching tonight who have made the roulade. You've yeah. made it, yeah. So and they love it. So there's something you've actually done wrong. But I, because I don't know the recipe off by heart, I actually can't help you, and I actually don't know what you've used. But go back and watch the video again, and um, I'm sure there'll be lots of people here who will actually say they've made the roulade plenty of times and it's been brilliant. So sorry, I don't. I really don't know what mm. to say to you. Yeah. 
Right, so let's get the cake together. So I didn't bake my own cakes today, so I'm using um, Sweet Success Cakes. I've been using Sweet Success Cakes for ooh, a couple of years now. Um, sometimes we bake, so if we're baking and we're showing you how to bake, we show you how to bake using our flavoured icing sugars. Um, but if I've got classes in, or sometimes for a live, um, I'll just buy a cake, it's just easy. It saves me a load of time. So my freezer is always full of them. So these are little six inch cakes and I've already opened um, one, one, two packets today and I've used um, one and a half of each cake. Okay, could you just show those people that have only just joined what you're actually making tonight? Yeah. Okay. So I'm no professional, all right? I'm just a home baker and I'm just showing you how to use our products. And this is what I've made tonight. And, um, and I'm going to show you so that you can make it as well. And, um, and I think it'd be more than suitable to uh, give away as a cake. My drip is a bit dodgy. I'm not good on drips. So I'm hoping to perfect it. It's the first time I've done a drip. I used the chocolate drip that we sell. Um, I think that was last year when we brought that out. And then, in fact, I don't know when that was because we got it at the Germany show, which was April. So I think we used it in May. And then I've never actually ever used a drip before that or, or since. So this is, our, this is me making drip with whipping it up tonight. But it shows that I um, didn't, um, I put too much water with it. And the other thing is when you're using um, royal icing for a drip, you really do need to have your cake go in the freezer. It needs to be very, very cold. And I, I didn't do that either. Yeah, I put it in the fridge. But this, the one we're going to make tonight is going to go in the freezer for a little while. Speed the process up. Okay, could you wish Louisa Paris a nice evening? She's spending her evening with you as her partner's working nights, and it's her 50th birthday oh, today. Oh, congratulations. You share the same birthday as my daughter-in-law. So it's her birthday today as well. She's not 50, but uh, I think she's 31 or something. But congratulations, happy birthday. Fancy having to spend your 50th with me, eh? <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> but happy birthday, and I'm sure everybody will be wishing you happy birthday as well. Yeah. Angie yeah. Bradbury, if you can hear background noise, we've got a fan on in the kitchen because yeah. it's very, very warm in here tonight. Yeah, if, you, if it's hot, it, it's really hot in here, so I've had to put the fan on. We were going to turn it off, but I've got to be honest, I'm melting. If it's really bothering you, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so everybody has a way of cutting their cake, don't they? And the professionals, you know, the, pres the professionals, I admire them, they're great. But this is Carol in the kitchen, and, um, you know, I can either go like that, cut it or I can cut it on the side so I really don't mind really um, I don't use anything else I don't use um, I don't use one of those things that goes across what are they called that um, cake leveler thing yeah, okay, yeah I don't is that what it's called <laughs> <laughs> there you go Mine I don't like a cheese wire yes that's yeah. it looks like a cheese wire I don't use that I just use a big sharp knife really and I just eyeball it so and sometimes I do this in fact I'll do this now so sometimes I do this as well so I just get eyeball it in the middle Alison Craig, yes, we do sell the pink board that Carol's working on. I was cutting on. I'm not <laughs> cutting on. No, nothing cuts on my cake, let me tell you. Uh, we do sell the pink board in various sizes. They are exclusive to myself. Um, but um, my supplier, who makes them for me, um, didn't realise I had sold so many so fast. And he has to order in the supply from um, Germany, because this, this, this pink stuff is actually made in Germany. So it's actually on a boat over, on its way over to us. So hopefully it's going to arrive early next week and then my supply will chop them all up and we'll be back in stock by Friday, hopefully. All right then, so... Could you just let Stacey know what size of cake you're actually six using? Six-inch cake, this is, and it's plenty big enough, believe me. It's plenty big enough. Um, I, when we've done eight inch, when we bake here in the kitchen and we bake cakes, um, I haven't got any six inch tins here in the kitchen, so we always use eight inch. And by the time I've decorated them, they're freaking massive, they're huge, and I never thought that they would be that big, but they, they are. So I am going to put some buttercream on the cake. So you can pipe your buttercream on. So wait a minute, let's get my board. I'm using a six inch board, by the way. A little bit of buttercream on there. And that gives it a bit of extra height. So a little tip for you if you want to make your cake look a bit taller. Okay, so I'm just going to put some buttercream on here. We've got a question of how is the icing sugar flavoured? 
How is it flavoured? Yeah, so it's, it's flavoured with natural flavourings, okay? And it's 100% natural flavourings. Um, it's not um, real fruit flavouring, so it but it's not synthetic. It comes from a plant form and uh, they're all white in colour and they're all allergen free as well. So if you have our cherry bakewell, it's nut free. If you have our pistachio, it's nut free as well. Um, and they taste amazing. They actually taste like they should do. But they do come from plants, but they don't, they don't, um, they don't have any of the allergens with them. Are they all and vegan, we are, Carol? Pardon? Are they all vegan? They're all vegan even as well. And the unicorn flavour. And even the unicorn flavour. <laughs> it doesn't have real unicorns in it. Because it doesn't have any unicorns no. in it, no. And neither does the llama. It doesn't have any llamas running around <laughs> in it either. <laughs> um, I need some more palette knives. Just okay. Moment. Welcome to Otata Matete McDonald. She's here from Foxton, North Island, New Zealand. Oh. And she's a first time. She said, this technique looks so much faster. She's been introduced to us through a friend on Facebook. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well, if you've been introduced to us, then somebody will tell you. I'm not the professional. I just want, you know what? We all want to decide to bake a cake or decorate a cake, don't we? Now, there's those people who, um, there's those people who, just one second, make sure I've got the right side of my cake. Top, Thank you yeah. to all the young ladies that are helping out with the roulade question. Yes. Um, I'll come back when, to you in a minute. When uh, it was said that it was swimming in butter, yeah. um, they're reminding us that we don't actually put butter in with the roulade. Well, I've got to be honest, I didn't think you did no. put butter in it. Because no, you just, just whip it up, don't you? It's a meringue yeah. mix, isn't it? Yeah, it's a meringue yeah. mix plus water. I know, but I didn't want to say because I didn't know the recipe and I'm and there how thinking... Put, how do you put grease on the board, though? Pardon? No. Yeah, but if she puts a little bit of grease on the board, she was supposed to put parchment paper on yes. it. It was only meant to stick parchment paper to the board. So, so. the grease is the other side of the parchment Yes, it's paper. on the underside. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't... Is that where all the grease is? She hasn't actually said. Right. I know, I was there thinking. <laughs> I don't remember actually any butter going in it, but I thought, I'm not going to say anything because I'm not here. And Carly Greening's asking, will you do the cup and saucer at some point? I will. <laughs> and I will tell you, I've started it. Let me clean my hands. I've, I will tell you, I will, I've started it, okay? So, um, look. So I have a cup, and I have a stand, and I have a saucer, and it's there, okay? Um... I've, I use flour modelling paste because that's what's been recommended but you can use just modelling paste if you use flour modelling paste you don't want to eat it and if you use a uh, flour paste if you use just modelling paste you can eat it um, so that's where we're up to you can hear it mm. you hear it yeah so that's where I'm up to um, I've got to be honest I did. I was going to do this tonight and um, I cut the I cut the I cut the saucer out, and I tried to cover one one cup again, and um, I had a bit of a nightmare with it. And I just thought, you know what? It's going to be hot. I'm going to be bothered, and I could really do with not going under again with the cup and saucer. Because <laughs> anybody who watched me last time know that I very really, well and truly went under with it. So we don't want to go through that again. So I will do it, and I will do it next week. I promise you faithfully. So I'll do it, I'll tell you when I'll do it, I promise you faithfully, provided we don't have a heat wave next Thursday night, I'll do it on Thursday night for you. And I'm going to use Saracino modelling paste <laughs> instead. I'm not using this, uh, this Renshaw stuff. Auto from New Zealand says so she's love, she loves how real you are. She's, you're making her feel comfortable with watching and learning. But that's what a lot of people like Sorry. watching about me because, you know, it's great watching professionals. It's great, but sometimes, you know, my granddaughter hit the nail on the head. Um, we were on holiday in Dubai a couple of years ago and we were watching something. And uh, what they made was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And uh, can't knock them. Skills, beautiful. And, and then afterwards, we said, uh, Ella said to me, I love it, Grandma, because I said, what are you thinking? Actually, I love it, Grandma, but I wouldn't make it. So she's, I said, why? So she said, well, when I watch you, I feel as though I can do it, but I can't do that. So I said, well, you know what, Ella, that's quite, that's quite good. She was only, she's 13 now, two years, she was only 11 when she said that. And I thought, you know what, that's really very true, because there's lots of things I won't make. Okay. So all I've done, jam on the top. I normally put my jam on first. But I get people going, oh, no, you should put it on afterwards. So 
I'm doing it this way. Well, that's like the scone debate, yeah, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is. And I never have a straight cake either, okay? And uh, you know, people get really um, upset about having having a straight cake, perfectly, perfectly straight cake. And um, I never do. Mine's always leaning that way. But by the time I've covered it up with everything I need to cover up with, nobody's going to know. And that's where you need to be. And where did you get your cakes from? Your ready-made um, cakes from? I've got ready-made cakes. We do use our own cakes, which we make with our flavoured icing sugars. And to be fair, I've got six of them in the freezer there. But they're all eight inches, and I didn't want to do an eight-inch cake. Mm -hmm. So I'm using the Sweet Success cake. And Sweet Success cakes are amazing. They are lovely. Yeah. Brilliant in an emergency, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And they have quite a long shelf life too, don't they? Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. They do. Sue Mary's asking, will the cake bundle for George's class be available soon, please? She's waiting to put a large order in. I am. I've got to think about the um, the thing. I'm going to do two things because I've looked at it. I've, I'm going to change the way I'm going to do the bundle. I'm actually just going to discount everything, okay? So all the stuff that goes in the bundle, I'm actually going to discount it because I keep looking at the bundle and every time I look at it, I know you've got geometric cutters, but there's those people who haven't got geometric cutters. The one thing you haven't got is the scissors. So I've got those in. I've got an extra 10% off of the supplier. So I'm going to take the 10% off for you guys. Um, I've got the, it's like for the buttons. Karen Davies has given me a discount, which I'm going to pass on to you. So the things that you actually need, I'm actually going to put a discount on for you. Okay. So tomorrow, that's what I'm actually going to be working on. So it's good that I'm going down to the warehouse and in the heat wave, working in the office down there. But that's what I'm going to be working on tomorrow. And I think that would be better than me trying to put a bundle together. If you were going to be making this cake and get baking your own, how deep a, bit, a tin would you use? Well, generally, I, I, Karen, who works here, she always bakes in the three-inch tins, but I always use the um, sandwich tins. Now, you're going to ask me about the sandwich tins. They're not in stock. Um, we are waiting. Oh, actually, did they arrive? Actually, they might have arrived, the sandwich tins. I think they might have arrived this week. I can't remember. Um, I've updated PME because... The sandwich tins have been out of stock for a long time. I know the ball pit pans have come back in. And um, I know the cupcake muffin pans have come back in. But I, I, it's just habit. I'm old school. I've always used an 8 inch by 2 inch deep. Well, one and a half inch deep, aren't they really? Right, so we've got our cake on here. And if you remember, with the buttercream there, I said I'm going to add a drop of water. Now, the reason I'm going to have a drop of water is, is that we're going to, we're going to um, crumb coat this cake and I want it a little bit looser, yeah? So when I say add a drop of water, I mean add a drop of water. So I'm going to use this, right? Um, I'm going to use this and I'm just going to add um, the teaspoon. Yep, the teaspoon. And it's warm water. Oops, that was far too much. So I'm not going to put all that in there. Let's just get rid of this. You know the whole reason about liquid flavourings, why I never use liquid flavourings, because I never have a steady hand. And it doesn't matter how much I try and do a teaspoon, it's always two teaspoons or more. So, And that's just what happens with the water there. So, thankfully. Right, so we're just going to turn the mixture on, loosen that up a little bit. Because I want to make this nice and soft. Could you give Pam Gibson some advice, please? She's wanting to cover a whole cake yeah. in buttercream rose swirls. All right. Yeah. You need to make a stiff buttercream for them to hold. And no, you need a medium consistency buttercream, which is this, this first batch, this first batch that I did. That didn't sound very well, did it? That first one. <laughs> I wasn't swearing seriously. And um, will you just confer, confirm your pistachio? Um, is suitable for anybody with nut allergies. It is, yeah. All our all our flavours are suitable for vegans, vegetarians, nut free, dairy free. It's what you add to it is the problem. And we only use premium flavouring, the very best flavouring. We have it specially made for us, and it's delicious. Bianca Van Tonder says her little girls actually said. She didn't want to eat the llamas in the cake. Oh, bless her. Oh, bless her. <laughs> the children love them, don't they? They do. Well, the llama, the llama flavour is actually bananas and strawberries. So um, that's that's the thing. That's why it's called banana llama. <laughs> bananas. <laughs> bananas are <Geraldine's>, llamas. <laughs> Geraldine's wishing a happy birthday to everyone who's got a birthday this year. Yeah. To this year. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you know the thing about That's statistics? That's most people, isn't it? Yeah. There's a brilliant thing about statistics and birthdays. Yeah. Um, the statistics it is that everybody that is getting older has more birthdays than anybody else. Is it? Yeah. Why is that? Well, you're obviously going to get older if you have more birthdays, don't you? Because you've had more yeah. birthdays, though, <laughs> right? Because you've had more birthdays, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any idea when the pink board, big pink boards going to be back I'm hoping in they're stock. going to be back in. It's, I'm hoping they're going to be back in by next Friday, next week. So we're out of stock, like I said to you before. I got an e I actually got an email at half past 11 on Sunday night. Can you believe this? From my supplier apologising. I had to laugh. I said, really? Half 11 on a Sunday night? He said, yeah, I know I'm stressed. So <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> okay. Must be a similar mindset. <laughs> exactly. Because no, I'm a big stress at <laughs> half eleven on a Sunday night. <laughs> and have we got an update on the mini Russian Russian ice right. cream tips? I sent the mini Russian piping tips. I'll get my phone out because I had to send a screenshot to this lady who's desperate for them, mm -hmm. and I know you all are mm. desperate for them. We've got two hundred and fifty sets on the way, and I think I've got two hundred sets already reserved for people. Um, but they were due to arrive on the 28th yeah. which was yesterday two days ago yeah today's the okay 30th. oh today's the 30th yeah and if i grab my phone let's have a look so if i grab my phone i'll be able to, to give you an update where they are but they've only just passed customs so just tnt right we've got to the bottom of the issue about the roulade oh with right have we yeah, Maureen Bailey. She just used the recipe that was on the back on the packet. Oh right. And she's added the butter. Oh so right. She's used the recipe for making the Swiss. You didn't follow the roulade cream, recipe then. Not the roulade <laughs> recipe. Right. That's where she's gone wrong. Go to the overhead camera there, Simon. So my, um, I don't know whether you can see this very well. So my order was dispatched from uh, Moscow on the sixteenth of the seventh. That takes a month for the Russians to make these. And then you'll see what happens. It's a nightmare. So shipment at the nearest collection point. Shipment arrived at TNT location. Shipment at the nearest collection point. See how it's at the nearest collection point there. T shipment in transit. Shipment arrived at connection point. But did you see it arrived at connection point before? This is what it does. It goes round in circles. Shipment arrived at connection point. Tri shipment in transit. Shipment arrived at TNT location, and it just goes on round and round and round. It gets kicked out every day. It's an absolute nightmare. And finally, on the 28th, it arrived in customs, and the clearance process has started, and now it's on its way. So I reckon I will get these by Wednesday next week. That's when I reckon I'll get them. And then all the people who have reserved them, they'll be contacted. So I know lots of you are really excited about that. We've even got people abroad. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Bad. And I have placed my next order with them as well. So, um, so my bag here, what have I done with my scissors? So my bag here now, just going to cut a little hole in here. And this is just for covering the cake. Do we sell those pink bags? We do we? sell those pink bags, yeah. yeah. We do. Okay. And this is the only time I use um, pink bags, um, big bags. I never use big bags otherwise. So all I'm going to do is just push in the buttercream. And this is me getting a bit better, you know. Didn't always used to do this at all. I do it all different ways. You know, I've done it zipped, I've done it up and down like that. I've done it with a spatula. Mm. If you watch any of my lives, you know, but the Queen of Hearts girls show me how to do this, Valerie and Christina. And I was ever so impressed. And if any of you follow Valerie and Christina, they're amazing girls. They really are. They've just brought out some amazing candles. They make the most amazing flowers and uh, they've just brought out some amazing candles. Yeah, they're really pretty, aren't they? Pardon? Those candles are really pretty. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They are, they are, they are. Jackie Adams is saying, make sure that you order plenty of those big pink boards in time for Christmas. Oh, I will. Because I will. there's... They're on her Christmas list. They're on Debbie they're on Christmas list, list. They're on list. list. Yeah, I think they are. Right, okay, I am just missing my scraper a minute. I'm going to get my scraper. Alison Craig, yes, you can use the flavoured icing sugars with the nifty nozzles. It works absolutely brilliantly. That's all I use. That's, yeah, that's all that Carol uses. 
And Dean now seems to think that the nozzles are walking from Moscow. Well, I actually agree with Dean. I think they're walking from Moscow myself. Okay. Are we still able to reserve the mini mini sets? I think I put the reserve list on in the cupcake bouquet class. So if you're in the cupcake bouquet class, I gave them the opportunity first because they were doing the cupcake bouquets. So what you can do is let me sort out those ladies first. Then I've got a few ladies at the office, so I need to sort those out. And then once they're all done, I'll be able to put that. What you can do is, is um, I wouldn't say email me yet. Let me just get them done. I'll tell how many sets they are. I'll come onto this page, okay? I won't post it in the group. I'll actually post it on the Sugar and Crumbs page and I'll say how many I've left because I'm almost sure there's 200 reserved and there's 250 sets coming. I order 500 at a time, but they only send 250 at a time. So um, I'm just using a scraper. Now, sometimes you'll see me use one of these or one of these, okay? I'm not actually particularly good at either, all right? But I like to play. Got to have the tools, haven't we? <laughs> So all I'm just going to do is scrape around the cake. Uh, it's going to go in there. Viv is saying, hello everybody. It's nice to see her husband's picture behind you, Carol. Yes. She was so impressed with it herself. Right, so Viv's husband, if you can see that amazing picture behind her, I did tell you all on, what day was it? Monday, Monday. wasn't it? Um, Viv's husband... 18,000 beads is on that picture behind me. This one here. And it sparkles. You might not see the sparkling, but it's sparkle. It's sparkling. And um, so her husband made it. It took him a week. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm overjoyed. I don't know what else to say. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. It's amazing, so, isn't it? Yeah. It's really sparkly. Yeah. Paula Fisher, the pink boards come in three different sizes. They do. Uh, a small one, a medium one. This is the the large one, um, and the prices are actually on the uh, on the website. The large ones are 110. They are, yeah. yeah. That's the cheapest I can do them. Mm. They should actually be more than that, but I can't. I can't. I can't charge any more than that. I, I nearly had heart failure when he charged me what he was charging me. But they are good, and I have to be honest. Um, Georgie Gobbled has fell in love with it when she used it here. She's like, oh my god. And um, Karen Davies has never seen it before. She came in on Monday, rolled a sugar paste out, and she said, I've not had to put any cornflour on here. <laughs> they, these are non-stick boards. And, um, and uh, sorry, that's my dog is going. I think either John's come home or somebody's walking past with their dog. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop this in the fridge for five minutes, okay? That's all. So it's not smooth all the way around yet. I'm just going to give it five minutes. And then I'm going to get out the little rolly, okay? <laughs> and show you how to do that. So let's just give it five minutes in the fridge. We will be getting the extra large dahlia nozzle in anytime soon. Yes, that's actually that's... on the next shipment as well. So I have got another shipment on the way. That's um, ten days behind. So that one is, um, I was a bit panicking because it's got my address on it, but then it seemed to be looking as though it was going to be delivered to somewhere in uh, Poland. So I had a bit of a nightmare this afternoon thinking, where's it going to in Poland? But um, no, apparently it's definitely on its way to me. Right, okay then. So let's start colouring up some buttercream while that's in the fridge. Yeah, so Viv's husband, big, big thank you. And I did say a big thank you on Monday. Um, isn't that lovely? And Karen, you won't be able to see this on too well, but Karen, I showed everyone there, did a cross stitch one for me. And uh, I love doing that one. Yeah. I, it was brilliant. Sat in my garden most of April <laughs> doing that. Good girl. Well, it was beautiful. In the and I said, isn't it amazing? She did it in 10 hours. And it was 10 <laughs> hours per day for a week. 10 days. <laughs> for 10 days. And uh, Viv's husband's been doing it for a whole week. Would you explain the difference between whipping it up and the icing sugars for yeah. Deborah White? So we're please. using the icing sugars today. Is it Deborah White? Yeah. yeah. So we're using the icing sugars today, the flavoured icing sugars. And all we've done is, is we've brought out a sister product called Whipping It Up. And it's got egg white in it. So it just means that rather than... With the icing sugars, we've showed you how to make meringue. We've showed you how to make Swiss meringue with it. We've showed you how to make royal icing, mar uh, roulade, pavlovas biscuits we've shown you loads of things even ice cream with it mm. and then all we've done is is that we've added egg white to it 
just to save you having to buy some eggs and crack them. That's all we've done, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour this up. So my cake behind me was um, pink, so we're going to go for lilacs now. And I'm hoping I've got enough lilac as I say that. We've got a lovely comment here from Ali Bamford. Sugar and crumbs honeycomb is great for making a crunchy cheesecake. Oh, it's amazing. Or salty caramel buttercream. Yes. She's got many of the flavours and raspberry ripples so nice. Yep, yeah, it is. They're all delicious, honestly. And the thing is, like, John is always wanting to get rid of them. He's like, Larry, get rid of that, Carol. We've got 50-odd flavours. We don't need 50-odd <laughs> flavours. And as soon as we get rid of one, they go mad. Everybody wants it. Yeah. Jackie Hussain is asking, is, are the mini Russian tips easier to use than the larger ones? Uh, well, I find all of them easy to use, okay? <laughs> so I don't have a problem with the minis, the large, or the extra large. Um, I know some of you do. But um, I am getting you through them there. I had a lovely lady come down. I shall call her Mary. She's actually called Lynn, but for some reason I've been calling her Mary. But uh, <laughs> she was only local. And I said, oh, pop on me and I'll show you how to use them. And now she can. So um, it really is just follow as I say, and they will work for you. And Lynn's watching tonight. Hi, Lynn, Mary. She came down yesterday. She brought me cucumbers, tomatoes, and potatoes yesterday. She's growing them herself. And she said, Carol, do you want some? I'll bring them down. So we had a little cup of tea together. And as soon as she walked in, I went, hi, Mary. <laughs> I have no idea why I am calling Lynn Mary. So um, there you go. So my cake's been in the fridge five minutes. Let's go and get it back. I've got the 10-inch cake scrapers on order. They're in stock. They're actually in stock, yeah. Karen Atkins? Yeah, there they you are. go. And how many of those sweet success sponges have you used? Was well, today three? I've used three, but one and a half per cake. Yeah? So let me get the cake out. So one and a half for the pink cake and one and a half for the lilac one that you're yeah. making now. So we'll just give this a little firm up. I'm going to use the little rolly. So you should be able to see on there that it's not so smooth. So Simon, do you want to move the camera? Or can you see on there okay? I'm on there at the moment. Pardon? What do you want me to show? Well, we'll get out to do with them seeing this bit. Okay. Right. Okay. So what I've done is, while Simon's setting up, um, just a plate with a little bit of icing sugar. You can put a bit of icing sugar and corn flour if you want. I don't add corn flour. Um, so just icing sugar on here. And start rolling your rolly in the icing sugar. But before we do that, while Simon sorts the camera out, um, I'll tell you how this works. So you get the rolly from us. And um, we sell them in um, with one handle and six rollies as a pack um, together. When they first came out, we were able to sell it with two handles and six um, together. Um, but the shipping is just so expensive um, with the COVID and everything else. We actually had to pay like 20 times more than what we did before for shipping. Um, you'll see, I know Simon's not on the camera, but when you see, when you see it, you'll, do you wanna, can you go to the top one, Simon? So on the top there, wait a minute, so if I just put it sideways, mm, you can see a bit of plastic and it's got a lip on it. On the other hand, on the other end, it hasn't got a lip. So you, if you try fitting it in that way, it's not going to work. So you need to go in where this lip, this lip is actually sitting out of the sponge, where it's not there. Don't try pushing it in with your handle like that that's a great way to try and break it and the same when you try and get it when you want to take it out just slide it in clip it that's all you got to do slide it in and clip and when you come to get it out just pull it so slide it in and clip and it gets looser as time goes on okay there you go so just a little gadget it's not going to last a lifetime but you're going to get quite a lot out of it, okay? And you've got six rollies to go. And the idea with these is if you're using different colours or one's wet, when you wash them, you just hand wash them in warm soapy water, rinse them, and then stand them up on tissue paper this way. Take the handle off and then just stand them up so all the water drains down. Um, don't go and buy the foam rollers from the, garden, uh, from the hardware store because they are toxic foam. This is food safe foam. There is a difference, yeah? So we've got this smudge here. Can we see this, Simon? Will you just confirm, is this whipping it up? That we're no, we're using on? icing sugar, so I'll go back sugar. to whipping it up shortly. 
So this is the, um, so we've got a smudge here, so we're just going to gently roll it out. So that's all we're going to do. I'm not perfect, me, for smoothing cakes at all. You know, I can get it on. This is about as best as I can get it on. And then after that, we have to, you know, got to go with what we've got to go with, haven't we? So all I'm doing is just brushing. So those who are clever, who can actually get it all on lovely and smooth and wonderful, you know what, I, I, I am in awe of your talent. But I am not that clever. So I, when this little gadget came out, I have to be tell you, I've got to be honest, I have to tell you, I did not have no confidence in the product at all. And um, I've seen a video of it, and um, I've seen the video of it, and I just thought, no, it's a gimmick, that. And when it came, I even thought more, it's a gimmick. Um, you're actually paying for the shipping, the, tri the export duty, customs duty, whatever it is, everything oh, else. Is, yeah. So, uh, but it is nice, it is strong, and it is pretty, okay? So look at that. And if you dig it, so let's watch what I do here. So let's just do a nice big dig like oh, that. Carol. I know. <laughs> So let's do a nice big dig like that because you know it does happen doesn't it okay and then all we're going to do is smooth it back in again oh no Anne Dickinson's just watching tonight um because she's had a fall she's cut all her leg and her mm. hand and she's got a bit a bit of a bump to the head as oh. well so we hope you're getting getting better soon yeah yeah I do hope you're going to be all right I fell down the stairs a few years ago and it shook me up. I tell you, I've never run down the stairs since. And um, it really does shake you up when you've had a fall, doesn't it? Debbie Hargreaves is telling everybody how to get hold of the, one of those pink boards for Christmas. Yes, get, put if a you... sneaky gift voucher in there with every order. Yeah, if anybody wants <laughs> pink boards for Christmas, it might be a good idea that you do pre-war me and send me an email and um, you know, um, send me an email so I can make sure that we've got plenty in. But they are great and I've not had one complaint about them at all, not one. Right, so I'm not gonna bother about smoothing my top and I'm not bothered about these little edges, okay? So I'm gonna pop this back in the um, uh, fridge a moment. Are the pink boards the same in the terms of the manufacture as the green ones? Is no, it's it, a different manufacturer. It's a different manufacturer. Yeah, yeah the, the green ones are food boards. So uh, let's take that out of the way. So it might be a long live tonight, girls, because it's ten to nine now. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so let me just get this on, get this on and start uh, colouring this in. And any recipe that has sugar in its consistency you can exchange our icing sugars yes you can so if you're using the flavored icing sugars um, if you're making a cake or uh, like I say a cheesecake or anything really and um, that's got sugar in it you can just swap it for icing sugar that's all that's and uh, if you're going to bake with it you will lose some of the flavor but you'll lose flavor with liquid essence as well the flavor will never be as strong in any flavoring you'll always lose 50 percent of the flavor but what is really nice about it is the aroma in the kitchen when you're baking smells divine and the other thing is when you finish it off with buttercream as well it's fantastic so let's go back to whipping it up. So whipping it up is a sister product and all we've done is just make it easier for you where you don't have to, you know, in the middle of the night if you want to bake now, you don't have to actually go out and sort of buy eggs and stuff like that. You can just pull it out of the cupboard, make some meringues, make some um, biscuits with it, make roulade with it, just don't add butter. Um, what else can you make with it? Fluff, mousse, we've made mousse desserts, haven't we? Yep. Um, Swiss meringue buttercream. But you'd need swirls. a cake, Viennese swirls with it, yeah, lots of things. Lots of things. So um, if you go to our recipe website, which is on the back of every packet, and go into search whipping it up, uh, macarons, that's what I was thinking of, macarons and macaroons you can make with it. Mm -hmm. um, and a lovely lady called Jean, Jean Tester or Tasker um, has made them with cocoa powder. So she's used the whipping it up mix. She's added a bit of cocoa powder and she's made the most lovely um, chocolate macarons. So I've got that recipe. I'm going to pop it on the website. Pop it on the website um, over the weekend for you and then you can follow that. She sent me all the pictures. Really very nice. Gina. Gina Tasker. 
Well, I can't remember, to be fair. <laughs> I, there's so many names that I get messaged. Honestly, if you saw my message feed, you'd be you'd be amazed. I can actually remember anything. I decided to turn myself off Messenger this week just to give myself a little bit of a break from the weekend because I get um, I get messages via um, text message, uh, WhatsApp messages on Messenger on my personal Messenger, and then via the Facebook page as well. So sometimes it can just be a bit daunting, especially when I'm act actually answering the same person. Uh, several times because I can't remember thinking did I see her here and I've not answered her or have I answered her somewhere else you know what I best answer it again so uh, they must think I'm a nutcase as well answering six times <laughs> right we've got a, a question uh, Pam Gibson's wanting some advice she's wanting to cover a 12 inch cake board in yeah. fondant yeah she's making an 8 inch cake with an 8 inch cake board to put onto that 12 inch board so what should she do to stop the 18-inch board and cake sliding about? Use a bit of royal icing. Royal icing. Yeah. And can you store a buttercream covered cake with a fondant board in the fridge? Yeah. Because you're not going to eat the, eat the fondant off the board anyway, You're not going to eat the fondant off the board anyhow. But what to do, put it in the fridge, okay? I put all my cakes in the fridge. And then what happens is it may, they call it sweat. So it may sweat a little bit, but um, all you do is bring it out to room temperature, okay, and just leave it settled. Don't touch it, okay? Just don't touch it. Leave it alone. And then if it is sort of like sweating a little bit, when you know, once you've got it out and it's back to room temperature, just get yourself a kitchen roll and just gently dab it. It will be fine. Okay, Ali Bamford, this is uh, the piece of equipment that Carol was using earlier is called the Little Rolly. Yeah, um, they're on our an website. Ameri it's an American L-I-L Rolly, um, and yes, you can order it on our website. So um, I'm going back on the small bags. Anybody who knows me, I just love these 12 inch bags. So we sell three different ranges, and at the moment we're out of stock of Tala, but I sell Queen of Hearts, Simply Making, and Tala. And then, do you want me to look? Have you fed the fish? Yes, I have fed the fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Have you fed the dogs? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't meant to read that out. <laughs> You'd have been better off asking me, yeah. <laughs> so if anybody wondering who that is, that's my husband. He's just finished work. God bless him. He's been in work since six this morning. He's come home a couple of times, been back on the night shift. And have you finished your night shift earlier or are you going back? Yeah. You could have asked the question on, on the <laughs> Facebook page, John. I have read it out. Yeah. <laughs> have you fed the fish? I've got the other kind as well. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, he's set up his own Facebook page now. But I've had to make him secret because he's worried anybody wants to make friends with him. Right, so we'll get the cake back out again. So, Pam, you make the royal icing up with water or you can get ready-made yeah. royal icing these days can't you, you can, yeah. in the tub um, just to secure your board to the a board to the board yeah especially if you're doing a double board like that i mean i've only just secured my cake here to buttercream and um, i've not dialed it okay because it's not that tall it's only three layers so uh, i've not dialed it i just cut a little bless hole. You, bless you, Julia. Julia Holmes says she's made a schoolboy error today. Oh, she yeah. wanted to do a lovely flower cake using her nifty nozzles, but she bought toffee and mocha flavoured icing. Oh, yeah, no, and not she good realized idea. she didn't want brown flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that won't work. So she ended up to swapping to Karen Davies moulds instead. Yeah. But aren't they great for a, a, to have something in reserve like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Karen, you won't go wrong with a Karen Davies no, mold. No, not at all. Samantha Lloyd's asking, why have you put a smaller cake drum at the bottom of the cake? Just to give it a bit of height. There we go. Just to give it a bit more height, that's all. And Sandra, yes, you can cut on the green boards if you want to. But not, on the, but not on the pink ones. Not on the pink ones. <laughs> they are the same. They are, they're known as self-healing boards, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't cut on the pit on this one. To be fair, a little gentle cut. And if you have cuts on here, all you've got to do is... They are, they're called self-healing boards, these. And so are the green ones as well. Um, but if you do a really dig, a big hard cut in it, you know, you 
you've knackered it really. Um, my son's a chef and he uses green boards all the time, red boards, yellow boards, blue boards for different things. And he goes, Mum, the chopping boards, but this pink one isn't. It's actually a different texture to the green. And um, they, they, they're called self-healing boards. And um, all you've got to do is, is just every now and again, give them a, a shot of Trex or Crisco over them or a little bit of vegetable oil on them. Helen Park says that her daughter's impressed that you've got the same glitter lamp behind you as, she, ah, as yeah. her daughter has. The reason the glitter lamps come out is that I found them in my drawer a couple of, oh, I don't know, a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. And I thought, do you know what? They've been in my drawer for years. I mean, some of them are like 20 plus years old. And um, I thought they've been in my drawer uh, for absolutely years. I'll plug them in, see if they're still working. And they were. And I thought, well, where am I going to put them now? And so I put them here. And sometimes I forget to turn them on. And, um, and then people go, oh, right, you know, you need your lamps on. The newest edition is this bubble one. That's, that was the newest edition. I actually bought that off Amazon a few months ago. And then my grandson, Josh, said to me, Grandma, I've got one of them. You can have it. I went, right, I will. So next time I'm down to see him, uh, I'll be taking that off him. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm doing now is, same bag, just put the lighter colour in. So here we go. Oh, actually... Just hang on a second. The darker colour is still coming out at the moment. Okay, Maureen McDonald says, I've got to tell Carol that you're looking fabulous tonight. There's quite a few people who have actually commented. And Who I am? Artists. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, it's not me, is it? They haven't seen me. <laughs> and they've certainly not seen Simon. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Clearly not seen so. I'm not quite sure why I look fabulous. I pinned my hair up. Do I look better with my hair up? John hates it up, you know. He don't like it up at all. Teresa Power, when we were talking about um, the whipping it up and the things that you can make with it, uh, when we were referring to fluff, um, yeah. It's the sort of the filling that you can get in walnut whips, but we're not yeah. allowed to call it whips because that's a trademark. Yeah. Um, so it's the filling that you get in that, and a lot of people have actually made it into a chocolate mould yeah. and filled it. Yeah, and you can and get the moulds off Amazon. Really well. You can get the moulds off Amazon. They're quite. Uh, there's loads of different ones. So. Uh, Okay, if you can't find the little roll on, like on, the, on, the, on the web page, if you look for the manufacturer... Right. No, wait a minute, because it's not on the manufacturer. Don't write little roll it, no. write L-I-L. Okay. In fact, don't even bother writing that. Just go into search and write roll it, R-O-L-L-Y. You'll find it. You look at my bag again with the third colour. Looks a bit messy at the moment, but we're going to get there. Don't worry, we're going to get there. And anybody who follows me on a regular basis knows that it's a bit like a... It's, it's sort of like, what the hell is she doing? And then suddenly it's all all right. So, <laughs> so we will get there. Oh, Michelle Ward's done a 12-hour shift at work today and now she's got to bake cupcakes for a bouquet that's got to be picked up in the morning. Oh, poor you. Oof. Let me introduce you to Sweet Success. Get them ordered. <laughs> <laughs> and order yourself a sample box at the same time. They're called Chef's Treats. Aren't they, Karen? They certainly are. We know about sample boxes, oh, don't yes. we? The sample boxes are fabulous. Yes. They really are. Jane Bailey's asked, saying, we've got some t turntables on the website. Um, we've only got plastic ones. Mm -hmm. We haven't got these. These Buy these off Amazon, but make sure you find out who the proper seller is. Um, I wanted a Tico turntables, and uh, this was meant to be a Tico. It isn't. I paid 70-odd quid for it, and it's a Chinese copy. And um, you know what, does it work? Yes, but am I happy that I paid 70 or quid for a Chinese copy? No. So just be careful, because what happens is lots of uh, copiers, they'll put names in, tag it, tag it, with uh, the brands that you're looking for. Abida Mahmood's asking for a recipe for six inch by two inch deep tins, please. Abida, if you have a look on our um, recipe website, www.sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.co.uk yeah. There's lots of recipes on there um, and there's also advice on uh, calculating your, yeah. your cake mix. Can you see the three colours on there? Okay. 
Do they look like three colours? Yeah. 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 Okay, so this is a sugar and crumb scraper. It's a 10-inch scraper. It's in stock. It's got a little um, thing on the side so you can sort of help pull it. And um, it's actually really very strong, okay? So, uh, but all scrapers are good. If you buy a good stainless steel scraper, you won't go wrong, okay? Um, so all I'm going to do, I'm not the best scraper in the world either, all right? The little rolly will be appearing again. So I'm just going to hold it straight there, and I'm just going to spin it round. Can I just confirm you didn't actually have um, a nozzle in that in those bags, did you? No, I didn't have a nozzle. And just cut a hole in the yeah. in the end of the bag. Yeah. Iris Doyle, I know you just joined. No, we're not using Swiss Marine buttercream on this at the moment. Uh, this is purely and simply the There you go. That looks nice, doesn't it? With icing sugar. Yeah. So we've got a little hole there. Now some people, um, professionals, will go and fill that in. But as I said to you before, I'm not a professional. And uh, we are not going to fill it in. So what we are going to do is we're going to get our little rolly. And we've got a nice line there. Can you see that line? I just spun it round, wait a minute. Can you see that line there? Yeah. Yeah. So we are just going to sorry, get my might have to put this in the fridge a minute and firm it up. Lorraine Lee is asking, if you make the whipping it up into fluff or mousse, yeah. do you have to use it straight away? No. Can you keep it in the fridge and how long for? You keep it in the container for several weeks, it'd be fine. But you won't want to. It mm -hmm. tastes so nice, you'll want to use it. That's and there's true. no point making it and not using it. So just get it made, use it. There you go, look at that. Are we happy with that? That'll do for me, won't it? Don't think we need to do anything else there, do we? That yeah. looks brilliant. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, there you are, girls, the easy way. So, what are we going to do about the top then? Okay, so all I'm just going to do is just bring it in. I'm actually going to put the kettle on and get some hot water. So just hold on. Good idea. Let me put the kettle on. <laughs> we have a pink kettle for the kitchen as well. Let me put this on a minute. This is not for your brew, Oh, okay. <laughs> Is the 10 inch scraper that you've been using the Choctastic one? Uh, I have used it? the Choctastic but with none in stock. No. I do sell the Choctastic and that's just as good as this scraper as well but they're never in stock and this is why I come up with them. Um, this is made by the same company who do the pink balls for me. So I've, just, I've not had my name put on them or anything like that um, but I just buy these. Um, he only sells them to me anyhow. Um, but uh, I just buy these and they're great. The Choctastic the um, ones are equally just as good they're not as heavy as this one they're not as thick they're a bit thinner um, but they're never in stock so every time every week I look, speak, look at the supply and they're just not there so I'm just putting the kettle on because I'm just going to put my palette knife on and um, scrape that now I, when I decorate cakes everybody who watches me I'm not in for the straight edges um, I always make sure that we're going to dress it up so we don't need to worry about this in fact we can actually leave this cake as it is um, but I'm just just going to put the kettle on and show you what I do. So give me a moment. I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil. And can we use the little rollies? Um, are they just for buttercream or can you use them on ganache? Um, right, okay, ganache. Um, I'm, I'm not a ganache girl at all. Um, it does say you can use it for ganache and Swiss meringue buttercream. Um, Karen used it for ganache the other week and I, I've got to be honest, I wasn't impressed. Um, Karen was impressed. God bless her. But if she's watching, she'll kill me when she's back in here on Monday. There's two Karens, Karen Griffiths and Karen Naylor. And uh, she'll kill me. But I wasn't impressed for the ganache, if I'm really honest. I would just keep it to this. And the Swiss meringue buttercream, if you want to use it for that, you do need to firm it up in the fridge first. It's very soft, the Swiss meringue buttercream. So you do need to get it in the fridge and leave it a lot longer. So get it to firm up. Kettle's done. Okay. Carol Gattenby. Uh, the Karen Davis sugar paste, we're hoping to have that in um, early to mid next week. Karen's hoping for a delivery tomorrow. Now, I'm not sure if you heard that, but Karen's hoping to get the delivery in uh, at her place tomorrow. And then My obviously we've then got to get it from Karen Davis into the warehouse. Yes. 
So hopefully Tuesday, Wednesday-ish. It'll definitely be. If it arrives tomorrow, Karen's hoping that it's going to arrive tomorrow. If it arrives tomorrow in time for my order to be dispatched, um, then we'll get it in for Monday. If it doesn't arrive in time, then it'll dispatch on Monday and we'll get it in Tuesday. And if it doesn't arrive Monday, We'll get it in Tuesday. <laughs> Dino's is asking if we could use if we could use little rolly on the top of the cake. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I will take. Well, let's do that now. But if you're going to cover it in flowers, yeah, doesn't, no, it doesn't no, have to it. be done, does yeah, it? No. So you can do the top. Yeah. Right. What I was going to do first was I put my scraper in there, okay, and then I was just going to smooth it in. It needs warming up a bit longer that. Sorry. And then I was just going to smooth this in first. So bring this in. Okay. But I don't bother with all this, if I'm honest. I'm only doing this for you. I don't do it for <laughs> anybody else. Dean knows you're very special. Yeah. I, I don't bother with this. I can't do straight edges. And I don't, I don't claim to say I want to do them either. You know, for you lot who get stressed over straight edges, you carry on enjoying your life. But I just have to have a bit more to my life and... Well, you it's, don't sell your cakes yeah. anyway, do you? And I just, so. I just, I just, the thought of me having to worry about getting a stress edge, edge kills me. So uh, it's like here, I'm smoothing this over with this now, but we don't know it need to. We're going to cover it all. Yeah. Okay, we've got a question on the nifty nozzles from Gillian Smith Ogredici. Apologies if I've pronounced that yeah, where's wrong. That? Um, she's like, she's saying she's bought the set of mini nifty nozzles that yeah. you had on the website. Yeah. Um, she's wondering whether or not she. Um, whether it would be worth her buying the ones that are coming over the ones that are on the website at the moment are a value set okay so let me just tell you how it works okay um, we own the design right so Alexander the genuine designer of the Russian nozzles which is why they're called Russian nozzles is because they are made in Russia by the genuine designer and uh, we're partners with him and um, I have the design rights here in Europe for those um, but there's lots of copies out there so unfortunately um, a copy a, a seller here in the UK a very big seller uh, was selling copies of them and um, so that it didn't go any further they had to give them to me uh, after a load of legal it's just about paid the legal cost to be fair so they gave them to me and I've sold them off cheap to you um, they do work and they are made of food safe uh, metal and uh, you're perfectly fine so that is a cheaper set but the set when the set that's coming from Russia when you get that set and the ladies who are watching tonight who have got the mini genuine ones if they've got both sets and you put them together there's a massive difference in quality really difference and that that's what's so nice about them is right. there a difference in the designs yes. as well? Oh, absolutely. So you the, would the, get yeah. different designs yeah. if you bought both sets? Yeah, and the sets are coming in sets of nine. They've always been a set of nine. And um, Alexander sent me some sample ones um, that he sent, so I then bunged them in everybody's order for tens. But then when I order now, it keeps sending me in nines again, so it will be a bundle for nine. So you did, everybody who got the ten set got one nozzle for free off Alexander. Right, okay, so are we quite happy with that, Ombra? Effect there. Easy enough, isn't it? Right, so shall we make some flowers now? So oh. this is going to go back in the fridge. Uh, we'll put that in the fridge. I might have to put it in the freezer actually. Okay. Anne's asking, Just how did it. you get your buttercream so white? Whip the living daylights out of it. <laughs> put it in the mixer and left the mixer yeah, switched on. I did. Um, I never add whitening to my um, buttercream at all. I just use a value butter. I just use a value butter and um, I just use a value butter when I get there in a minute and I um, just beat the living daylights out of the butter. Right, so let me get my buttercream back here again and let's see what we've got in the bowl. Not a lot. It's gone. Okay. So we're going to make a couple of flowers with this. So I saved some white, which is fine. So that can go there and we've got that colour there, haven't we? So I'll save that for some green leaves. We've got a bit of green here than what I did earlier. Right, great. So let's just make a couple of flowers to go in the freezer. So let's me mix these in. I think there's a little um, in-joke coming here from Leslie Smith. 
Oh, is there? Yeah. Cool. She says, ask Carol, where's my black satin ice sugar paste? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. She knows uh, what I'm talking about. I yes. love her and tell her thank you once again. And I made it up to her. <laughs> I nearly died. I nearly died. I said to her I'd get it in and I completely went over my head. But thankfully I was able to retrieve myself and I was like, I do this for you. So she was well impressed. Yes, she did laugh because I, I could do nothing but tell the truth. Sorry. I, I nearly died. I nearly hyperventilated and thought, oh my Lord. And have we any idea when the PME alphabet embosses are coming back? In? They will be back in soon. Okay, the numbers are back in stock. Um, if I'm not out, if I'm out of stock, it's not because I'm not buying them. Believe me, I do all my shopping Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the suppliers, and I practically have a direct line to them. So um, I do their heads in. But it's like everything with COVID at the moment. Nobody was expecting to have happen what happened, and. Um, let me just get this colour off here a minute. Nobody was expecting to what happened, so everybody was just ordering their normal stuff, you know, and stuff comes by sea and it takes a long time. And uh, what happened then was, is that just everybody went out of stock. So, you know, the country went baking mad and bought everything. To everybody's credit. Yeah, to everybody's credit, good. It's been lovely to see so many people yes. baking. We've um, taken on a new unit and the guy who we deal with is the guy who we got our first unit off. And uh, he said to me, he says, Carol, even my girlfriend started baking. <laughs> he was amazed because she's just somebody that he said she's just somebody you wouldn't think would bake. But she's really got into it. So it's lovely. It's lovely to see how many people have actually. And we've got a question from Angie Andrews and I think this is relating to Claire Corbett's class. Do we yeah. sell the lollipop shaped moulds? Uh, I don't know, but I have give you a link to Amazon for them. There's no point me buying some things in because I just can't buy them. I just can't actually buy them um, cheap enough. So you know, so I gave it on the on the. Uh, if you're in the Claire Corbett's class, there's actually a link there for you. There is. Will the nifty nozzles that are coming over from Russia be available on eBay for the lady who's in the US? Um, for the ladies who have reserved them in the US, I will put them on eBay because that will be the cheapest way for me to get them shipped to you. But what I'll have to do is I'll have to deal with Yin, she'll have to speak to you, and we'll have to put them in, and you will have to buy them as fast as we put them in the basket. Because if you don't, somebody else will. There's a couple of uh, late arrivals. Um, Ooh, where have you been? Using Whipping It Up. Yeah. So she's been using our product. Um, and there's a comment here that says, Carol, you look adorable today with your hair up. Oh, do I? You know, John hates it up. I never have it up because he really hates it. And uh, I've seen him when he came in before and asked me if I'd fed the fish. I bore me as I like, why have you done that? And Claire Bickerton, yes, the nifty nozzles do come in different sizes. Uh, there's mini ones, there's large, large ones, and there's extra large yeah. ones. So I'm just putting my colours together. And we're going to make some uh, roses and some peonies and some peony buds. That's what we're going to do for our cake. And then we're going to actually make some, we're going to use whipping it up and make it into a drip as well. Alison Skirt, the value set that Carol was referring to earlier, when she says that the copies, they do work. It's yeah. not that they don't work. We wouldn't sell them no. all to no, you. No, no, they do work. I've used them here. And I've used them in my bouquet class. I've shown everybody how to use them. And if you want, I'll do them here. If you want, I'll do a live here with them. So I can do that. Uh, I don't do the morning lives, do I? <laughs> so, but I've already said I'll do the cup and saucer next Thursday. But um, I can do them. In fact, if you want, I can actually, I can't do Monday's live. But if you want, I'm sure Karen will be ever so grateful if I take Friday's live off her. <laughs> I think it should be me. over the moon. Right, so piping bags and nozzles, what we're going to use here. So we're going to have three piping bags because we're going to use um, the 125, the 104. Uh, we're going to have four piping bags, actually. 
Are we going to be getting any more colour mill colours in? Right, colour mill, I can get colour mill, but I can only get the large bottles. And the large bottles are retailing at sort of like anything between 18 and 20 pound a bottle. So if you want to put your to, if you want to buy them, that it's a question of keep asking myself, should we stock them? So the supplier here in the UK has only got the big bottles in, but I feel that that would be too much, that you won't want the big bottles. But it's up to you. If you do, you do, and I'll stock them. The best thing to do is leave some comments on this page if you want them, and I can have them in stock next week. But the small bottles are not here. But another supplier has messaged me to say that they're getting the small bottles. So um, when they get the small bottles, we can buy them because they've got coming from Australia. So the 125, just go to the overhead, Simon. So you'll see that the 125 is a petal tip. It's a large petal tip. And this is the base of, this is the base. So the deeper end, the bulbous end is always the base. And the thin end is always the petal. You can see on the piping bag here, I've got a seam. Okay, you always have a seam on your piping bag. Put the thin end into the seam. So it's running along with the seam. And there's, there's no other reason than that than me telling you. There's no rules at all. And that's just me telling you that. And I'll tell you for why in a minute. Um, because the nozzle is on a slant, can you see it there? So it's not straight, you're going to cut it like that. So we're just going to push the nozzle back and we're going to cut it like that. So you've got a nice little thing, it just got to go back, do it again. Just so the nozzle points out. So I'll just put that on my hand there so you can see it. Sorry about the lights there. Yeah. So we're going to put the colour in now. Lindsay Pearson, I'm sorry, I saw your question earlier and it disappeared off my feed, so I couldn't uh, establish who it was that asked the question. Um, when are the vanilla sweet stamps letterings? Um, I've just in? placed my order. They've been out of stock sweet stamps themselves, so I've just placed my order and they've just confirmed it tonight. So hopefully they'll be dispatched tomorrow and they'll be here Tuesday, providing they get dispatched tomorrow. And hopefully... I don't know yet if they're in there. I've been hanging on because I've been waiting for the new boxes. Okay. And Kelly Thompson, uh, if you're signing up for the Cakesicles course, there's a specific list of items that you need there is. actually within the group. Once you're in the group, there's yeah. links to everything that you need yeah. um, if we don't sell it. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we're going to use the 123. And this is the same as the 125 in, in size, but it's got a curve on it. So I don't know if you can see that. If you come a bit more to the middle, it will pick the focus up. Yeah. You see that okay? A bit more to your... Um, the other way. Yeah. So we're going to do the same with this, the petal on the seam, put it again, it's on the angle as well, I'm going to make peonies with this one, okay, then I'm going to use the um, 1M tip, the 1M, uh, it's an open star tip, it's very similar to the 2D, except that's a closed star tip, but I prefer the 1M because uh, I think it gives a nice sharper point, so when you put this in your piping bag, roll your piping bag down, as though it's like a pair of stockings. Pop this on your finger. Do not push your finger through the end. You won't get it back. And then just gently ease it into your bag. Are we going to be getting any more of the Barina's upside down boards? Um, I have not stopped Barina's upside down boards for a long time. And I'll tell you for why. It's just as cheap for you to buy um, a sheet of acrylic. Um, if you put in acrylic supplier, you'll, you'll be able to buy a, a, a sheet just as cheap. And, and also, if I'm really honest, I use a cake drum and Brina uses a cake drum as well. So she doesn't actually sell the um, actual board anymore now. So if you buy um, a board four, ta four inches bigger than your actual cake, so if you've got a six inch, then you need a 10 inch drum. Um, an 8 inch you need a 12 inch and so forth buy a bigger drum for your cake do your upside down method on that and it will be perfectly fine yeah. Yeah. and Nikki King's asking, I'm cheaper <laughs> Nikki King's asking if she's got a 6 inch by 12 inch cake yeah but 6 inches wide 12 inches high how many packets of sprinkleicious would she need? a lot 
Depends on whether she's covering the entire thing or whether uh, she's just doing some around the bottom yeah. around the top. Um, Nikki, message me um, and I'll talk to you because I have had a massive delivery of sprinkles in two kilo bags. So if it's something in particular you're doing, I can see what I've got. I don't sell two kilo bags. We break them down and make uh, smaller bags with them. We make 100 gram bags, but uh, I'll be able to help you out, I think. So here we go. So we're on that one. And then I'm just going to do a swirl on here. Also, it has a question about postage to New Zealand. Ooh. Um, it's quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Shipping's expensive for us anywhere in the world. And a lot of people sort of think that we don't like sending stuff to Australia and America. And believe you, that's not the case at all. It's the shipping companies that make it very difficult. The other thing is I do insist on a tracked shipping service because uh, we used to send stuff out untracked. And unfortunately, the amount of stuff that got lost or went missing... I went missing um, it just wasn't worth it so I do send it tracks so that makes it more expensive when you ship when you do ship even here in the UK uh, we subsidize the shipping and that and every company subsidizes it and uh, the reason is because you pay for weight for your shipping so you have like a, um, a small parcel one kilo and then it goes up in weight and then it goes up in volumetric size and like with Hermes we can only put 15 kilos in a box and then when we have another box that's classed as another consignment and that means we have to pay the shipping twice so even though you may have only paid 3 99 or 4 99 we've got to pay it same again for the second parcel and that's how it works with everybody really so and it doesn't help that our product is big bulky and heavy right so let's make some of these then i'm going to sit down with these now just move those balls out the way okay so I'm sit down from my back and you're here. right carol is using the wilton 1m nozzle the 104 the 123 and the 125 and the 366 yeah for and, the leaves. and i didn't actually bag up the 104 yet no. So all we're going to do is we're going to we're going to we're going to um, not pipe these direct onto the cake. We're actually going to pipe them onto parchment paper. So I've already got some parchment paper, not fully cut yet. So all I've done is just folded these into rather large squares. So uh, have I still got my pin in there? Yes. That's it. So depending on the size of your pin. Depends how big your squares you want them to be. I like them nice and big anyhow. I like everything nice and big. And but they're not even squares these, they're oblongs. I'm actually not gonna do this many flowers I've got. I'll put them all up on here so they can next time. So I've got a pin here, but I do have a wonderful pin coming in from the girls from the Queen of Hearts. So I've ordered loads of them off there. Let me just go and get mine. What did I do with mine? Carol, is it possible to paint letters using the colour splash gels? Pardon? Is it possible to use to paint letters using the colour splash yeah. gels? Sorry, I have to do it. So if you're going to paint letters using the gels, all you do is squirt it into your tray and then just with your paintbrush, have a little dab of water in one of your little um, palette things, sorry, and then just wet your paintbrush and then wet your paint, wet your, wet your gel and then make it into like a little paint. But be careful how, how runny you go. So the pins, okay. So these are the Queen of Hearts girls pin and it's amazing. Look at the size of that. So I reckon that's about... Uh, I think that's two and a half inches. Mm, think, thereabouts. About that. Yeah. And then this is a number 13. No idea where I've got that from. Yeah, Simon. Do you want to get the measure on that, love? Two inches. mil. Which is what? Just a bit. It's a bit two over, and a quarter. Do a bit over two and a quarter. 
It's always someone who's got to be spot on, hasn't there? Two and a half I, inches will do. I don't. <laughs> I, I'm quite I'm good at eyeballing stuff. It always amazes Karen and the stuff at eyeballing. But um, so that one there, I've ordered these and I'm waiting for them to come off the girls. So the girls that know, I think I've ordered uh, two or 300, 300 of these. And if you can wait till these come in stock, wait for one of these. You can also use it as um, a heat. Um, is it a heat call heat before? Call. So if you've got, um, especially the ball pans as well, but basically uh, you put it in the bottom of your pan, sit that in, then put your cake mix on and it'll cook your cake evenly. It's ideal for really big cakes or very deep cakes or funny size cakes. Um, but this one, this one's a cheapie off Amazon. It's a number 13, don't know what that means. There you go. But anyway, we're going to use this one. Quick question from something that you posted recently. Uh, when are Doreen's classes going oh, to be posted? Oh, Doreen's classes are going to be posted on the website uh, over the weekend. I promise you faithfully. I've got to work in the unit tomorrow because I've decided I'm not working here because of the heat. Um, so I'm going to work in the unit tomorrow. And then I'm going to take my computer down and get some more memory. <laughs> so I'm going to go and do that. And then um, um, Saturday or Sunday... I'll be spending my time on the computer because I've got loads of new products to put on. I've got stuff to update and I've got to get Doreen's class on. So it will be on. She's already sent over the images. They're really dead cute and uh, you're going to love it. Yeah. Right. So, and I'm glad she told me about that. So, uh, okay. but it is on my list to do and I meant to do it today, but I ended up being in here. Right. Okay. So this is the, the one, two, three um, gem nozzle. Uh, we sell it as a one, two, three. We do sell the uh, one, two, one. And if you want the smaller ones, I think we do the 61 and the 59. Um, but I generally use these. This is the biggest one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, I don't know which is the best way for Simon to follow me, but we're just going to do a nice little blob on our nail there. Dead easy to do these. The girls who are in my cupcake bouquet class are loving it. Their peonies are great. And when I first show them, they're like, oh my God, I can do a peony. So, um, you know you know what? Um, so there you go. So you're just going to squeeze over and you're going to go over three times. Okay? So that you make yourself your little bud. And basically, you're just going to keep going round. You're doing small semicircles all the way round. And that curve which I will, where's my cloth? So this curve is going to you, okay? So if you're right-handed, Simon, you might just have to move about the camera a little bit. If you're right-handed, you're going to pull this to you. If you're left-handed, and I can't show you the left-handed way, but you're going to go that way, okay? And then if you're left-handed, um, you'll see that when I make this into a rose, that you'll be then to come in the to you and we'll be going away but we'll explain that in a minute so we've got our first little bud so that's one little bud there so we're just going to pop that on there let's do that again so a nice little mound and then we're just going to go over three times sort of create like a little cross and it doesn't touch the sides look it doesn't all go down to the bottom but you then go into little semicircles, pulling it in. And you just keep spinning the pin. And my ladies in the cupcake bow cake class have to do this on a cake. Mm. We don't mess around with pins there, do we, girls? No, we don't. Right. And then just keep making sure that you're coming round and you're pulling it round because it's very easy to get a square, square peony. Okay? Do not worry if it breaks. Just keep coming round. Yeah, I'm bringing it down. So let me clean my nozzle. And I'm going to go bigger with it. Bigger, there we go. And that will do. Yeah, keep cleaning your nozzle. There's your peony. It's pretty, doesn't it? It is. So let's do a rose with the same nozzle. Oh, we'll do, a, uh, we'll do a slightly open bit in a minute. Kathy Eaton's asking, will you be putting the links to the items that are needed for George's class? Yes, within I will. Within the unit. I will. Yeah. They'll go within the unit. And um, I've decided I'm not going to make a bundle because when I look at the bundle for all the things, because you bought George's first bundle, there's some stuff in there you've got. And then I couldn't make up my mind 
which flower buttons you wanted and then which the other things the one thing i will be putting in everybody orders while i'll be giving you a free zip a free zip i've ordered the paper i'm just waiting for georgie to send me the template and then i'll get the zips uh, not the zips the um tape measure i'll mm -hmm. get them printed off for you um i've ordered so i'll be able to so those who are in uh, georgie's class i'll be able to give you a discount on the zip mold because uh, they've given me a discount so katie sue have been very good they've given me a discount Patchwork Crusters have given me a, a, a discount on the um, scissors mould uh, cutter and Karen Davies has given me a discount on the buttons. So if I pass that on to you as individuals and then the sugar paste and all that stuff you can get yourself, can't you? That be I think that makes it easier rather than you, me having to work out a bundle and everything because you've all got colours. You've all, I sat there looking at it and thinking, what am I doing? You've all got it. Let's just give you a discount on the three main things that you need. And it saves you a lot of time putting the bundles yeah, together exactly. too. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the other thing as well. <laughs> so we're just going to go around again. So those ladies who are not in Georgie's Godballs class, just shut your ears. We're just talking about Georgie Godballs <laughs> class. The Cakesicles class, um, all the lustre sprays are in now. So your rose golds are in, your silvers, your gold. Um, the non-alcohol sprays are in as well. The rose gold is not on the website. It will be on the website over the weekend. Um, and... My delivery of cakesicle boxes has been dispatched tonight. So we will have them in the building tomorrow. And as I'm in the building tomorrow, when they arrive, I will open them up. Apparently there's a bit of a tutorial of how to put them together. I just can't wait till my lads have to pack these. But anyhow, so uh, we're just gonna open this peony up now. So we're going the other way now. Geraldine Allen's very kindly saying, you don't get customer service anywhere like you do with sugar and crumbs. Oh, thank you. We do try hard. We certainly do. I can't please everybody. I do miff off a few people. But, you know, I do try as hard as I can. There we go. We'll put that one on there. Right, let's get another nozzle done before we're at, we're at this all night. Angela Hiskey, your um, question about your order, if you want to email the office tomorrow morning, um, yeah. info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com um, and we'll answer your question. Um, yeah, we can't do customer service issues here. So, but if you go to our website, there's a contact page there. Go there, it's an email, it, just put your contact in there. Can you do me a favour, pop, pop your name and address on, pop your order number. The amount of emails that we, got, we get is, and I don't want to be rude, but I'm almost sure if you got it, where's my order? Mm. Well, who are you? you know. And they don't put a surname and, on me, You know, it'd just be nice if everybody yeah. put a please, if everybody put a thank you, if everybody could just say, I placed my order on such a day. Uh, my name is Mary, Jane, whatever you want to call yourself, you know, preferably what's on the order form. And then just be just a nice please and a thank you because just lately we are not getting any pleases and thank yous. Okay, Anna Cunliffe, no, the live for tomorrow morning has been cancelled. Um, Carol needs to be in the in the warehouse tomorrow. So Simon's going to put a notification up. Sorry, I'm doing a rose now, by the way, with this uh, one two five. So you can see it's exactly the same. And Jane Bailey says she thinks here there's something wrong with the internet because it keeps putting things in their basket when she checks out. Oh yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the internet there. <laughs> but we're not fixing it. No. <laughs> so just do another little rose there. So all I've done is a little blob. There's different ways you can do roses. You can get really particular. But you know what? These are just quick roses. So you can get really particular and really you know, uptight about them and they've got to be perfect. But you know what these are going to do? Wait until we put these on the cake. They're going to look great. You just make them different sizes. These are just so easy to do. So you're just doing a little blob like that. And you can do this like little tiny twirl if you wanted to. You can do this little tiny twirl, twist it round. If you wanted to do that, you could do that. And then they're just little semicircles, but just semicircles all the way around. And when we get these on the cake and we've pushed them all together, I'm going to put these in the freezer. And I don't do day one roses, mine are day two, yeah? <laughs> 
Right. People are asking, has Simon fallen asleep in well, the chair? It's very, very quiet. Oh, that, I thought you meant I was like focusing on the wrong thing. No, you're no. focusing on your I'll new still equipment. Hear everybody. Right? They're missing you, Simon. I'm very hungry. <laughs> I know, he's not on his oh, tea blessing. either. He's about, what time did you get here today? Was it like two o'clock or something? Half past three, it was. Was it? Oh, there you are. Well, you just put that on there. I've run out of buttercream on there. So we're just going to do a couple of these. Does anybody want to ask me any questions about these? They're just so easy, look. You know, there's some people who are going to show you a harder way to do it. I'm just going to show you an easy way to do it. When we put these on the cake, you're going to love them. I'm just doing some smaller buds. There we go. And you're going to ask where am I putting them on the tray there. Now, the ladies in my cupcake bouquet class, they've had to do these direct onto the cake. And I make them put three buds on together. So they're like, they have to get their hands in all sorts of positions. So there we go. So you could do that that little ago if you wanted to. Just got to get a bit of a shape. That's a bit of a cone shape. And then go around. So that's another little bud for us there. Shall for this tip that Carol's using at the moment is so the 123. 125. One, one, yeah. I was going to use the 124, but I'm not going to bother now because I need to get these in the freezer. I need to get the cake out and make some drip. So I'm just going to make a, another couple of little peony buds, exactly the same. Debbie Todd, if you want some more information on the Cakesicles class, if you go onto the website and look up Claire Corbett's Cakesicles class. And the Cakesicles class is a week on Monday, so it's getting very near it's now. It's on the 10th of August. Yeah. And uh, 10th of August, you're going to love that class. I might do it myself, actually. Now you see, look, I've got a diamond, uh, not a diamond, I've got a triangle for a peony here, but you know what, who cares, we're going to push them in. They're all saying you're making these flowers look so easy. They are easy, look, they're not, they're not dead neat these, look, they are easy. I'm getting to the end of my buttercream in this bag. So let's just, uh, what you should now have, see, I, I did a bit of a schoolgirl error here. Um, you should have a bit of, they have some fancy um, stands for these to sit them in. So when you've got a squeeze down in your bag. But if you haven't got that, have a bit of polystyrene. But um, I didn't think to get one out before. <laughs> so I've now got to try and do it like this. And get my last bits out. And Lena Jewel says, what do you mean by two day row, a day, day two rows? It's ruffled. It's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right, look at this peony. He's a right dodgy one, isn't he? But do we care? No? Yeah. No, no, we don't care. Because he's going to look all right when we put him on the gate. So we're going to stick that one round there. I'm very much a decorator about, you know what, don't get stressed about your cake because it will be absolutely fine. Right, so we've got those. They're going to go in the freezer now. All right, let's get those in the freezer. Okay, so when you were using the nozzle uh, to make the roses, yeah. was the curve on the inside or on the outside? For the roses, I for that one there, that's um, a peony that we used. So we used the one, two, three there, and I came forward to me all the time to get the bulbous bit, and then I just opened it up. And for the rose, I came towards me. So the, um, the one, two, five, which I've used to make the rose, Okay, it's straight, it's got no curve at all. All right, and I pull that towards me. And if you're left-handed, you're just going to go, well, you can go this way or that way because this nozzle goes both ways. For this um, one, two, three nozzle, which is a, a, a gem one, two, three, I'm right-handed, so I've pulled it towards me. If you're left-handed, you're going to go that way. Yeah. And for Tracy Cox, can you just turn one of the flowers on its on its edge so that you can see the side of it? You can. Because she's asking, that when you're doing the flowers, are you lifting the nozzle or are you just pulling it straight round? You can you're do actually either going in or. a half moon shape. Yeah, a bit of a half you? moon. i just got to be careful with this one, Tracy, mm -hmm. because I don't want it falling off. So mm -hmm. I don't know when you can see it there. I don't want it falling off my paper. Have to show it to the side camera. Show it to the side. Oh, yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? So you can see it there. So look, they're not dead neat. They're just little semicircles, look. But we hide it all. Watch me hide it all in a minute. <laughs> so we're gonna put these in the freezer now to firm up. Like that, look. So 
So we're going to get them in the freezer. We're going to make some royal icing with the whipping it up. And we're going to have a go at drip again. The second time at drip. Freezer is that small yeah. Karen. But, okay, so let me get my kettle on. So I hope you're loving this live. Like and share, like and share. For all those who follow me on a regular basis, they know that I'm very rustic. I'm very much, wing, I'm very much winging it. I'm sort of, I'm not throwing it together, but I'm very much, you know what, this is how we're doing it. And I don't follow any rules by anybody else. I just do it as best as I can. And what we end up with, we always end up with a pretty cake. And that's all that's important to me. A nice, tasty, flavoursome, pretty cake. And I've never had anyone complain about a cake I've given them yet. So um, I don't sell cakes for a living. I give all my cakes away. Uh, they always go to, uh, well, just while COVID's been on, I've been dropping off down at the hospital, the old folks home, the police station. I did ring the fire brigade, uh, the ambulance and the fire brigade the other day and they didn't answer and I didn't think it warranted a 999 call. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, rang, I rang both of them. I was like, oh, ooh, I'm going to get through to these. So anyhow, the old folks got them again. And then uh, today, John's taken loads of cakes to our new unit and going to give them to all the residents at our new unit to butter them up for when we move in. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right, okay, so I'm now going to make some royal icing with the whipping it up. Okay. Speaking of whipping it up, we've got a question from Elizabeth Moss. Yeah. Saying, can you please tell us what the new special flavour is going to be as of tomorrow? Uh, right, okay, well, it won't be as of tomorrow because John foolishly put the sale on last week on Thursday and the sale was far, was far bigger than we anticipated or expected and we just can't we are way behind so until he's got all the sale orders out the way he can't make any whipping it up so we're actually we're actually oh come on <laughs> so we've got two teams of packers picking and packing as fast as they can and john's been packing orders as well and um we're doing our absolute best but as soon as we've caught up which we're hoping to be caught up by the middle of next week then the fingers crossed yet yeah, then they'll be making whipping it up again and um, i did want ras i did want raspberry and white chocolate but i think john has prepared a batch of cherry bakewell because he wasn't listening to me i think he's back i think he's prepared cherry bakewell pina colada can you remember the other one it's free no it's free that he's got ready to to go so I think they're going to be, well, I don't think they are going to be. So I know de definitely Pina Carda, I know definitely Cherry Bakewell, and there's another one. And we'll have to do a white chocolate and raspberry the month after. So you just have to wait a little bit longer. Right, let me go and get the kettle on in the bowl. Sue Wright, so, sorry you're having to go, but yes, you will be able to catch up with it later. Um, the whole show will be pinned onto the website and you'll be able to it's watch the YouTube. whole thing it's also on youtube yeah yeah it's not on the website sorry yeah, it's not on our website it's on youtube my fault yeah no no don't worry right so i've just put the kettle on okay i'm going to make some drip now um i've not made drip before until this afternoon so uh let's just uh get this open these are fully these bags drive me nuts but these are 100 percent recyclable and they drive me insane because they don't rip like the other ones do and um, like the other ones do and some of them now have got like this little air pocket in as well and uh, we've covered it with the label because we didn't want you all saying oh well it's puffing out but basically it can puff out but we've covered it with the label so if you get this little button inside do not panic about it so what we're going to do is we're just going to I'm not going to weigh it, I'm going to guess. So I've no idea how much we've got there. We're just going to wing it, Carol. We're just going to wing it, okay? So I've no idea how much we've got there. I've got myself a piping bag. Kettle's boiled. Is there any plans to do the strawberries and cream in the big uh, two and a half kilo bags? At the moment, I've got plans to do everything, but it's just not possible to do <laughs> Our biggest problem is next year we'll be able to do loads of things but the thing is we've decided to move building so John is under massive pressure and our lads are under massive massive pressure as well and um, I think with all the social distancing rules because I know everybody feels that it's everyone's gone back to normal but in work you still have to do the social distancing so at the moment we've got two shifts on and we don't really want to have two shifts but now with them um, so when we move out and we're moving out of the building on the 
9th of September. We've actually got the new building, so the carpets are in, the new offices are being built at the moment, and then we're going to start moving things over slowly. Um, and then we have to, the weekend before we actually move, we're all working like crazy because we've got to move everything and it's all got to go on pallets. And then the builders come in, drop the mezzanine, mezzanine and um, move that over. And that's going to take five days to move that. Apparently they've got to drop it in one, put it in the other. Then we've got to work another weekend, get it all up. And then we've got to go back to our old unit, which is where we're having a new production areas put in so we're having all different rooms put in there as well so once all that's done we can actually make anything we want but at the moment it's just like oh i think if i ask anybody if i ask anybody anything at the moment as much as i'm the owner of the company i think they'll just strangle me or shoot me or bury me under the patio or something they just like put, you under the mezzanine. <laughs> yeah, put me under the mezzanine yeah so um right i best measure this again answer because, uh, so this is eyeballing this okay so I put too much in last time far too much water in so it was quite runny so on the cake behind me or have I put the other cake in the fridge oh, it's still behind me so um, it was too runny so I'm just going to put a teaspoon at a time so we just need to go slow Mo McDonald, the pina colada flavour is absolutely delicious. It's oh, one yeah, of my it's amazing, favorites. yeah. And is there any plans to get gin and tonic back? Um, I would love to get gin and tonic back, but it didn't sell well. Right. well and it never sold. And to be fair, we only buy premium flavouring. And I think some people didn't get it. So those people who are regular Sugar and Crumbs followers, you got it, that it was a non-alcohol and it was a twist on the flavour. But the people who don't know our stuff, who bought it, they were writing in going, well, it doesn't taste of gin. Well, it won't because it hasn't actually got gin in it. Mm -hmm. And um, and they didn't like the smell of the Prosecco. So but that, that's the best we can get as a non-alcoholic version. We can't have any alcohol on the premises. Okay, and Angela Blag's asking, can we still get the coconut whipping it up? Um, it's out of stock at the moment. It's out of stock it? at the moment. Yeah. I, I can't ask him to make it at the moment. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, Right, so this is coming together now. And this is how you make your royal icing with this stuff as well. You know what I mean? Just I've been actually been royal icing biscuits with this today. So I'm not a royal icer either. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not a royal icer either, but I thought, oh, you know what? I'll have a play with it. Because um, I've actually never done the royal icing. But I thought, you know what? I'll have a little play. So I've done my border. So I uh, did my border. What time did I start doing these? It was about six o'clock I started messing around with these. So uh, I put my border, today, Carol. Uh, put my border on, and then my filler. They're not perfect, but that's just me playing. And then I realised I didn't have an acupuncture needle to pop in out any little bu bu bubbles, so I just stuck a scribe in, which wasn't really the right thing to do. It's too big. Chris Great Banks, the new unit will be is within about half a mile of the uh, yeah, original one. Three minutes from the other one, and it means that we've got a proper reception area. Okay, uh, a proper reception area that's going to be kitted out next year and um, next year and um, you'll be able to do your click and collects again which you can do click and collects now anyhow um, if you're doing click and collects you can only collect between 10 and 3 is it Karen? Yes. Uh, Mondays to Fridays and preferably before 3 please please because uh, <laughs> the office girls are in at 7 and they like to leave at 3 if they can so we can't do them at 7, 8 or 9 because the boys have they've got to be printed off and the boys have to pack them so I've just seen a request here this. from Zoe Tideman. Could we do a behind the scenes video of the new building? What, as so we're putting it together? Our new amazing headquarters for us all to see, <laughs> yeah. please. Well, um, John's also got plans for next year for us to have um, a new kitchen built at the new unit as well, on top of the new offices that we're having built. So he wants a second kitchen done, and it means that we'll be able to do demonstrations and classes there again. So we won't be doing classes, sorry, demonstration mornings there. So um, they will be upstairs, so those who can't go upstairs, that'd be a bit of a pain for them. But it means that you can come shopping at the warehouse, so we'll be able to have shopping days there. Michelle Hoyle, we're use, currently using the whipping it up to make the royal icing drip. Yeah, so the good thing with this is, okay, you can make this, um, add, add your water a little bit at a time, okay, and then just test it. Yeah, so just test it, and then... Um, and see how your drip is first. 
but what I need to do now is I'm just going to quickly put the cake in the freezer for a minute. So just one second, Karen, can I crush the cake and put it in the freezer? Do we do a coconut and lime mix? We used to do coconut and lime many years ago mm. and I adore it. Right, so there you go. We used to do coconut and lime many, many years ago when we first started, and I absolutely adore it. But it didn't sell well. So um, let me just sort out of the fridge a minute. Go on. Do you need help there? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Pretty good. Just want to put that in the freezer a minute, and let me get this um, colour out a minute. Some colours I'm looking for. There we are. So you won't see it on this one, but I put silver in it, but um, I'm just going to find the violet one up here. All the ones, it'll be the last one, won't it? It'll be the last one I put, there it is, there we go. So, uh, just going to put this glitter powder in there a minute. Dean, that's just saying she'll come across and be your receptionist. Yes. You won't have to pay her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she'll miss the dog. She would. So don't worry about putting it. I think I put in half a teaspoon there. Because we want to make metallic drip. So can you see the metallic now? You see it shining? Look shiny. Look shiny. Metallic drip. There we go. Oh so dear. the white before is done with the pearl. From what? Uh, Debbie Hargreaves has just been um, just saying the back on lockdown in Burnley. Oh, well, I'm not saying I'm surprised. No. No. There's lots of uh, love for the Saturday mornings. They really, really miss yeah. them. Well, we want to get those back on. They won't be this year. It will be as soon as John's got the... He needs the funding for it first, so I can't mire him too much. But as soon as he's got that done, we'll get it on. And even if we don't get the classroom done, it's my thing to get that back on. But I need, we need to get this COVID thing sorted out as well because um, I don't want to have lots of people Mm. Um, close. I mean, I don't mind doing the demonstration mornings because we can spread people about. Mm -hmm. But um, like it's the whole reason why I said we won't go into any of the shows. And Leslie Smith's got a, a fab idea about the adding water to royal icing. She uses a spray bottle. Yeah, she should. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's absolutely right. I do actually have a spray bottle, mm -hmm. and I should use it, Leslie. Shouldn't I? Let me get my spray bottle out. Lots so. of people saying, "Oh my goodness, if you oh, if they can trust themselves on the shopping day." In the warehouse. The shopping days at the warehouse are really funny. <laughs> Mum McDonald says she uh, she get a flight over. Yeah. <laughs> and shopping days, a, shopping days at the warehouse is really funny because um, the amount of people just don't know how to use the phone to shop with. <laughs> it's like cracking. They just throw us the phone. Put it in, Carol. Put it in. Put it in. Uh, don't care how much it is. Oh, do you not want to have a look? No, no, it's fine. Just throw it in. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of water in here. Dinas and Jackie Adams are saying that they'll job share on reception. Yes, would they? Have 24 hours <laughs> telephone cover. <laughs> Anyhow, we need to do some prizes, Karen. Should we do some prizes? Absolutely. Do you want to show some out? Yep. Okay. So, uh, so on Thursday the 23rd, um, Karen did her, de her demonstration day, and the prize for that was a £25 gift voucher. That was that was Karen. So Karen did my live for me last she Thursday did. night. Yes. So last Thursday night, she did the Molly Robbins opening up, and um, she did my live for me because my son and my youngest grandchild came to see me. Uh, came to see me. So she did that. So there's a £25 voucher. We've already drawn everything. So the winner for that is Karen. Jackie Adams. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Jackie won one of the prizes, <laughs> but I, couldn't, I didn't think it was the first one. So Jackie, yes, yeah, you're, you're the winner. Okay, so I'm just going to loosen this up a little bit more. So 
So they're asking what powder did you add to that? I sure? added I added this sugar flare stuff and um it's called it's it was known as finishing um finishing sparkle but it isn't really it's actually known as sugar flare powder puff and uh, we have it in pumps and we have it in uh, the big tubs but it's amazing to lusty your cakes with so i don't know what we're doing on time we're going to run over but we're not going to run over too long so don't worry so we have just... another winner oh yeah do we want another winner uh, so, Friday. Thursday night. so Jackie Adams you won for Thursday night when Karen did what did she make that night uh, last Thursday does last anybody Thursday. remember oh don't worry have you wrote last it Thursday. down somewhere yeah mm. what did she make because I just dumped it on her last minute didn't I you did sorry I can't be doing the spray bottle the spray bottle's great well, if you're just going to do the royal icing for your thing so now I've added too much water Okay, can you just give us the colour of that? It's what called it? Violet Shimmer. Violet Shimmer. And as you can see, it's shimmering. Oh, it was vegan day, wasn't it? Did you do a vegan on Thursday? No, vegan Friday. Yeah, well, we didn't do Friday because no. it was a Molly Robbins class. See, this is where I'll go from... This is where I'm going to go from perfect drip to too runny drip. But you know what? It is what it is now. We don't make it too runny, but this is going to have to do. Otherwise, I'll be here all night. Jackie around. Adams is, is watching. So, Jackie, uh, she's confirmation. She knows she's watching. She's just placed a comment. A £25 gift voucher. Yeah. So, you won a £25 gift voucher. She said she was in a dream. <laughs> oh, very nice. See, that's what happens, isn't it? When we when we did the draw tonight, they must have known that you were going to offer your services for free to sugar and crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> so go on, who's the next prize for, Karen? So we didn't do it live on Friday because we were doing Molly's class, weren't we? But you've got written down here Friday competition for the 24th. Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah. Now, every Friday, John puts a competition yes. on, okay? And um, he puts a competition on for one prize winner. And every week, I'm giving away free prizes. So, <laughs> so uh, and John goes, well, you give away free? I went, yeah. So we picked three winners for it. So it was the like and share for the uh, flavoured icing sugars. So there is um, three £25 winners for the... Um, to shop in our shop, three £25 vouchers. So Karen, shout them out. Okay, we've got Carol Broad. Carol Broad. Marie Constable. Marie Constable. And Emine Bar... I'm not sure if it's Barnett or Burnett. I know, I don't know. Emine Burnett or Barnett. But there's only one of her, because I've seen her before. Mm -hmm. So uh, so you are three winners of three vouchers. And all you need to, uh, of a voucher each of £25, all you need to do is go to info, um, info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com or go to our website, the contact page, and um, claim your prize there. Just say that you have a... So, Jackie, you need to say you won Friday, uh, Thursday night, which was the 23rd of July. And those on Friday, you are the ice and sugar winners. Share the ice and sugars. Um, and that's the like and share for that. So just put that in. Put Friday comp. And then we've got another prize. We have uh, Monday the 27th. So Monday the 27th was me. Was. I was back on doing the live on Monday morning. We had a great audience and I know who the winner is. Go on. Margaret Banks. Margaret Banks, lovely lady. And she's been to our social mornings as well. So lovely lady. Congratulations, Margaret Banks. It's £25 voucher, it is it? Yeah. Yes. And then Karen Davies was in Monday night and she was giving away a free mould, okay? So you could either choose the unicorn mould or the swan mould. And there's two winners for that, isn't there? There is. We've got Sandy Mortimer. Sandy Mortimer. And Annette Sheepers. And Annette Sheepers. So you two ladies have won those as well. So just let me know which mould you want, the swan or the unicorn. And if you've got both of those moulds already, just pick another mould at the same value. Yeah? All right, then. Good. Congratulations, everyone. Well done. Right, so do you want to get me my cake out, Karen? I will. Marie Constable is absolutely amazing. Oh, she She's watching, never won she? Anything. Have you not, Marie? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when, when somebody's not won anything, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, good. Well done. So I'm just wiping my hands on here because I itch my head. So, okay, yep. so we are going to get the kitchen out then. That's all the prizes. Hmm? That's all the prizes. Yeah. That's all the prizes. Yeah. 
that's all of them. And then don't forget about liking and sharing tonight. Like and share, like and share, like and share. I'll pop it up again then. Yes. Like and share. <laughs> like and share. So, um, so this is just going... today, Carol. Uh, it's a £25 gift voucher So uh, in our store. So um, I've not got a nozzle in here. I'm just going to cut a small bit off the end because I don't want big drips. So um, when you're doing it with royal icing, you should... Your cake should be really ice cold. So we're going to see now whether I've got the opposite effect. You're doing it on the side where I can't see. I know, sorry, because I can't go around this way. Um, should I just do it in the front of the camera there? So it's not running at all, this, is it? Don't tell me I'm going to have to pull it off. Oh. Right. So there I've gone. I've gone too firm. So what we're going to do is never worry. Never worry. I'll put it back in there. That's the good thing with it being a frozen cake. So the other one I did too watery, and then I don't want to do it too watery this time. And I've faffed around with it that much that I've now made it too firm. Right, so hold on. So that means I've got to squirt all this in here. Add some more water. It's a bit of a testing game. Really what you should do is, when you've made it, you should get a little bit on a spoon, on a teaspoon, and then just drizzle it onto a board. That's what you should do, test it. But you see, I was being a bit of a clever clogs, wasn't I? Thinking I knew it all, and I didn't. Kaylee Robinson says her partner's put her on a sugar and crumbs ban, but he's watching with her. <laughs> <laughs> she just banned from buying. Yeah. She's not banned from watching, oh. just banned from buying. Yeah, well, I think there's a few husbands. But what you can do is you can put a ban on him buying any more golf equipment, football tickets, or anything else he likes. Absolutely. Hey. <laughs> Beer. Beer, Beer yeah. <laughs> Goes two ways, this band lark, you know. Don't cook him his tea tomorrow. And Charlene Daly says, see how relaxed you are, Carol. I would freak out if that drip didn't work for me. Oh, listen, I don't get stressed about cakes. I really don't get stressed about it. I know what my skills are. And I, if I was a professional, you know what, fair enough. But I'm not a professional and there's just no point. My thing is, at the end of the day, this cake's going to look pretty. And all of you who stay to watch it, you'll go, yeah, you know what, Carol, it was pretty. And that's all we're going to do. And I, I, you know what, you can cover up loads of mistakes. Do you know what butterflies were designed for? Mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this back in the, let's get this in the new piping bag. I was about to put it in this piping bag. That would have been fun. It'd be dripping right out the bottom, wouldn't it? So, where's my glass? It's looking more like a drip now. It's only the same like when you buy drips as well, you put them in the microwave, you, ho you either don't eat them up, heat them up enough, or you overeat them. So you, you don't eat them up, you don't heat them up enough, and then you get a big blob, or you... Uh, you do it too much and it gets And then it just drinks, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So it's just one of those things, isn't it? Angie Bradbury is asking, is the whipping it up more creamy than normal buttercream? Uh, yes, when you make it into a Swiss meringue buttercream recipe. Don't follow what instructions are on the bag at the moment, unless you've got the new instructions for a whole bag. Because we've given you new instructions now, and that's for a whole bag. And obviously you can use half a bag and half the butter. But if you've got the old instructions, you should have had a, a new way of doing it stapled to your invoice. And I know some of you haven't read it, but they have all been stapled to your invoice. I can vouch for that. I've done it. Is it you who does it, Karen? <laughs> so let's do this strip again now. Jane McDougall says her husband was on Zoom this afternoon and at the end he said, like and share everyone. His friends <laughs> all looked blankly at him and they said, like and share what? He said, sugar and crumbs, of course. <laughs> <laughs> So this is going to be the back of my cake. There's always got to be a back, hasn't there? So, sorry, Simon can't see this. Okay. 
Andrea Lucas, the white chocolate, or the Calibo, is actually in stock. It's in stock, yep. We've arrived yesterday, so it's now on the website. So this could well be two runny girls. I don't know whether you can see the shine of this metallic. Right. I can see it. Yes, does that not look okay? Yeah, it does. So there you go. That's how to make your metallic trip. The easy way. Right, okay. So that's all the way around my cake. Now we have got that smudge at the back there. You put that to the back. There I see it is. no smudge. So, so you put that to the back, okay? So there's I our... I said not to mention things like that, Carol. I know, I've got to tell these lot though, haven't I? Okay, we don't hide nothing here at Sugar and Crumbs. So this is our drip. I'm just going to pop this in the freezer just for a second. So it's going back to Karen again. In the freezer. Don't get your finger in it or anything. I will. Right. And then um, our flowers should be ready, shouldn't they? So um, you'll see, I'm just going to give it a minute in the freezer, okay? So we're five past ten, so we're five minutes over, but we're going to be about ten minutes over, all right? So you'll see I've got some buttercream here. Right. Oh, sorry, you can put the back in the fridge. I'm going to make green. So you see I've got a little bit of buttercream left, so I've used all the buttercream we made. So we've made um, a kilo of icing sugar, a kilo of icing sugar, two slabs of butter. We've covered the cake. We've covered it again in cake in colours. And then we've made the buttercream flowers. I've used everything. There's not much left. Yeah. What do you think of the whipping it up drip so far? We'll have a look after. Okay, and we'll compare it to my first effort earlier. So the green gel here. Esther Bonnier, the metallic powder that we've been using is the Sugar Flare Violet Shimmer. Yeah, let me just show you them because there's loads of colours. Okay. And um, you won't see it so well on this, but it is, um, you won't see it so well on this because I used a, like a pearl. So I don't know if you can see it, the shine, you can see the shine, can you see the shine, Simon? No. Can you not, not pick up the shine? But it's got a really nice shine on it oh, yeah. you use the pearl. Yeah. Um, now I made this drip too watery. It's the first time I've made a drip um, using the whipping it up. And obviously I made it too watery. So, so while I'm live with you, I've got extra cautious and took my time adding water to it. This one I just chucked the water in. But you know, it still looks good, doesn't it? Yeah? And how much powder did you use to make the drip? Um, okay, you throw in whatever you want to put in, but I put in, <laughs> I put in half a teaspoon. So look at these colours, look. So you've got this lovely Yoshi yellow, we on the overhead. Baby blue, show me all, look. Black, midnight black. We've got pumpkin. I've been selling these for a while now. Mm. We've got light silver. The oyster, I wouldn't do the oyster with if, I, if I'm really honest. It Go for the vibrant ones, the colours. This lovely green, fusion green, regal gold. I'm not saying it's going to work with all of them. This is the first time I've done it tonight. Rose gold. But you know what? If you've got whipping it up and you've got some of this in, what I actually used earlier was um, I used the pump, the pump one, and I just dropped the silver in. And that's what gave me that pearl. That's all I did. And um, that was a pump, and it, it looks like you're throwing a lot in, but it isn't. It's so light, this stuff. Um, what else have we got here? So we've got rose gold, light gold. I wouldn't bother with the white. Can you recall the price? For Extreme these? gold. Finishing sparkle, that's what I put in before from the pump. Baby pink or pink. They can't decide. One minute it comes baby pink on the label and the next minute it comes pink. Caused us a load of confusions a few weeks ago, didn't it, Karen? I was on to the supplier and said, look, you've sent me pink and I ordered baby pink. And she said, no, it's the same. Well, freaking make up your mind what the label's going to be. And then we've got frozen blue, uh, dark silver. So anything that's glitter, but these good. Valentine red. So, you know, have a play with them. You know, have a play with them. Um, somebody will have to look on the website. If you go to Brands and go to Sugar Flare and then have a look, they'll tell you how much they are. I think they're, are they are £5 something. I, don't I think so. And you get 25 grams in these. Yeah. So uh, they're Quite great. value. Yeah. And they go a long way. Mm. And you only need a little bit for luster in your cake. So let's get this green on. Can it be painted onto a cake? You can paint it on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Use your rejuvenator or your... Um, dipping solution you can use alcohol but alcohol dries out very quickly and it can make it lumpy so use your um rejuvenator or dipping solution thank you anna Cole. she said it's 5.99 oh so i was right then i said no 5.95 i was uh 
undercutting myself for oh, yeah. <laughs> So what did you actually use to make the pearl on the... I, to the make the one? pearl, I actually used this tub the of finishing sparkle. And you only get 10 grams in here. But I just took, I took this out. I'll probably end up it being all over here now. Let's do this bottle. So I just took this out. And then I just dug that in like that and just kept chucking it in. And it, look, it's, this is the actual jar. And this is the jar that I use. I've, I've been using this since last year, since I sprayed it, everybody at Cake International. It goes a long way. Yeah? So just a moment. I've got to just go and wipe my hands a minute. And would adding the Fay Cahill Lusters... I don't know, I've tried it. it. You've not tried it. I've got to be honest, I haven't tried it. I was only messing around with this tonight, you know. I'm not saying... <laughs> I was only messing around with it tonight. So I've just done that finishing sparkle in that one. And then... Um, I need to look at this camera. Sorry, I was looking down there. Um, I just threw the finishing sparkle in there. And then I thought, you know what, let's try that violet. So I'm actually not sure, but I can't see no reason why not. So we've got the... Um, but I will play with them. When I, when I finish lo loading the website, putting the classes on, buying all the shopping for the website, if I get five minutes, I'll sit and have a play. <laughs> Mel McDonald says those uh, those just go well for painting on cold cold butter. Oh yeah, they're lovely. Mm. Yeah. So we're nearly done now, girls. Can you believe it? We're nearly done. I made a right mess in here. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's live. Um, anybody who follows me, as you know, this is the way I am. You know, I am what I am. At. Right, Karen, are we ready for the big moment, the cake? Is this the big reveal? Hey, this is the big reveal of putting it together. It's like the ladies who do my classes with me. This is how I am in class, isn't it, girls? So there you go, look. So I've got the drip consistency right, look at that. <laughs> and if I'd, done it, if I'd cut the bag a bit smaller, we could have had thinner drips. Mm -hmm. Now you might wonder why I'm not doing the top. I don't need to do the top, and you're going to see that in a minute. Can I have the flowers as well, please? So um, you might see that just, we don't need to do the top. And plus I didn't want to faff around with a bit more, but can you see that shine no on there? No faffing, Simon. Can you see no that faffing. shine on there? We don't want faffing. <laughs> no, we don't We're want faffing. At the shine, yeah. Right, great. So what I'm just going to do now is decide which is going to be the front of my cake. So I think I'll have that as the front of my cake. So I'm just going to start there with a nice big blob. I'm going to take my first flower off. So Simon will have to go to the overhead. And I'm just going to sit it there. And then I'm going to do another one here. I'm going to sit a rose there. Look, just so easy, isn't it? And we're going to go there. And we'll sit a little bud. We'll sit this bud here. Okay. And then so these have been in the freezer, haven't they, Carol? They've been these, in the freezer, flowers. yeah. And we'll just put these little blobs on, look. And you just stick them on, look. Dead easy. You can't get any easier than this. Then go round the cake then. And we're going to pop... We'll put this purple one there. So we're going to pop that one there. This is easy, so easy cake decorating. Honestly, you don't need to get yourself stressed out, girls. Just play. And I say this in class, just play. And you know, when you give cakes to people, they're, they're amazed anyhow. I mean, I, I say this to all my ladies with the nifty nozzles. All my friends know that I own this thing called nifty nozzles. Yet whenever I give them a cake with nifty nozzles on, they're like, oh, Carol, look at that. Look at the detail. All that work. I, I get fed up of telling them it's just a nozzle. So uh, there we go. That's another one there. So you're liking it. Let me know if you like it. And then we've got one more bud here. I'm just going to move that one over. Do they like it, Karen? They're absolutely loving this. There's yeah. loads and loads. So, girl, the people who watch me, people comments. who watch me, you know what I'm like. You all watch it. It all sort of comes together, doesn't it? All at the last minute. It's like sometimes you think, oh, it's never going to come together, that. But it does. It does come together. So we've got our leaf tip. Now, the leaf tip that I'm using, I'm using the giant leaf tip, which is, I call it the big mama on our website. <laughs> and it's the 366. And I love this. So what we're going to do now is... Alison Morris, Car Carol mentioned earlier that the white chocolate and raspberry whipping it up 
um, will not go on sale tomorrow. Um, no. We've got a, a bit of a, an issue in terms of making the product, so... We haven't um, got an issue of making the product. No, it's, it's Let's the, just get that right. There's sorry, no problem with making the product, but the sale was so successful. Yeah. Can we go to the overhead, Simon? Uh, to the front, Simon. The sale was so fantastic that we put on last week that we can't catch up. That's all it is. The production, a full pout. They're starting at 6 in the morning, not finishing until 10 at night. They, then they're doing overtime on Saturday. They cannot make the sugar fast enough. So they're whipping it up. We'll have to wait until all the orders are fulfilled. And as soon as it has done, it's already prepared. John wasn't listening to them, reading the memo that I sent him, but he's already got pina colada prepared, cherry bakewell prepared, and another one prepared. So as soon as we've caught up with the icing sugars, they're going in the blenders, and we'll be, we'll be on it. So what do you think, ladies, of this one? Now, some of you might have seen that I... Yeah, there we go. So just Was a few little leaves. the one end that you used to put underneath the flowers? I did, but you can use yeah. a round or anything. Yeah. I was just using that. I was going to do some little rose swirls with it, but decided not to. So uh, just a little couple of leaves. I love this big leaf nozzle. Dina's is making up our logo. She's saying it's not just a nozzle, it's a nifty nozzle. It's a nifty <laughs> nozzle, yeah. I've got new aprons coming out as well. You want to see our new aprons? I've got the Sunday girls. Um, they've designed our new aprons for us. They're absolutely amazing. Wait till they come out. You're going to be one of them. So, uh, okay. right. Bird just says this is amazing and the colours are absolutely beautiful. Good, glad you like it. So I'm just going to... Sometimes it has to be less is more. But there you go. Ford is asking... Have you done a class making those flowers on the nail? Because if you have, she's missed it. I haven't done it on the nail, but it will be done in the buttercream flowers class. And we'll probably may end up covering it in the cupcake bouquet class. But only when the girls can surprise... They, the girls know, and um, when I say the girls, Valerie and Christina, they know that my order is in for these pins. So once they're, once they're in, that's when we'll do it. Right, okay. So the one thing I didn't do, I forgot to save one flower for the, fr for the front of the cake. So let's get that one. Um, Simon, do you want to pass me another stand, please? There's a little glass one there. So let's take this off here. So the drip's held well. I've got it right the second time, haven't I? How cool is that? Fabulous. Okay. So there we go. There's some excitement for the new aprons. Yeah. Oh, the new aprons are amazing. In fact, I'll try and get a picture up now and see if I can show you on the screen. So this is what I did earlier this afternoon. This was my practice cake and my practice drip. So that's the first time I'd actually done the drip. And as you can see, it's run to the bottom. That was too much water. So you have got a bit of faffing around to do. You have got to play with it. And as you saw myself, you actually saw it before, you know, I had to take it out of the bag. I dripped with it. It was too thick. And um, I had to drip with it and... Um, Put it back in the bowl again. So let's see where the damage bit was. So that was it, actually. I've chose, I've cho I've chose the frigging, I've chose the frigging damage bit for the front of the cake. <laughs> How clever am I? <laughs> Dick, I am at times. Oh, Carol! <laughs> but you can't see it. That was meant to be the back. <laughs> but it looks all right, doesn't it? I'm going red now. <laughs> <laughs> I was meant to be doing that round the back but I mean how how does that look it looks pretty doesn't it and like on here I've done a little ruffle you might not be able to see this I meant to do a ruffle on here and I forgot <laughs> I do forget because I'm it's because I'm not a professional cake decorator I'm just playing so can you see this little pink one on here this is the 125 that I just did a little ruffle with um just to give it like a little blanket effect so I don't really can see that there yeah so I think we've had a great time tonight, haven't we, girls? I hope you've really enjoyed watching me. Um, I don't know what our audience has been like tonight, but um, usually we have a pretty decent audience. How have we been doing over, tonight? We've had over 600. Right, fantastic. So that's really nice, isn't it? And isn't it nice just to be in the kitchen and talking and, you know, asking questions and just being really relaxed and having fun and hope you like the way that I do cake decorating. Um, you know... Uh, Can you just show Julie... Hayden, a close-up of the 1M. The 1M, of course yeah. I can. And God bless those professionals. I'm not knocking you at all. You're amazing. But I'm more for the people that are new, who are giving it a try. And you know what? Create something that's pretty. And this has all come together. I bet you're all surprised it actually came together. My, the people who follow me all the time are, are always like, wow. And it is called winging it. That's what it's called. Right, okay. So the 1M, I'll go and get a clean one. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, and the pin that Carol was using is called a flower nail. Yeah, it's called a flower nail. So it's called a flower nail. You can buy them off Amazon, um, but they're not as big as this. These have specially been made for the Queen of Hearts girls, Valerie and Christina. And they know that I've got a big order in with them. And uh, as soon as they're in, they'll be shipped out to me. But they even come with all their stuff on them. And that there is the 1M nozzle. There's lots so of people sitting it. and they're making these for their own birthdays or 16th birthdays. Yeah. Can you see it? It's a star nozzle. So it's a 1M, okay? But these are not in stock. When they're in, I'll let you know. So then, um, yeah, so these are great. Aren't they great for a Mother's Day, a birthday thing? And they're so easy, aren't they? I mean, all right, I bought the cake. But how long have we been going now? Two hours, 20 minutes, and I've been talking, I've been asking questions. So, and it's all done, isn't it? And we've done a fabulous strip as well. And uh, hopefully you can see the shine. It really is shining in here. It is lovely. And uh, shame about this one. I don't know who these two cakes are going to, actually. I don't know who we'll give them to, but we'll find somebody tomorrow. So uh, I think I might drop one off at the nurses. If Lynn Toff's watching, um, Lynn, I'll drop one off at the nurses for you lot tomorrow. And then uh, there we go. Right. Um, what else have we got to say, Karen? Save the date for the virtual event. Yes. Okay, so no live be tomorrow because it's too, eight, too it's going to be too hot. I can't work in this. I'm sweating here tonight. Um, and then don't forget on Saturday, cake decoration, cake decoration and sugar craft magazine. I'm not sure if it's on their Facebook page or actually on their website, but it's called it's Save the Date. They're doing a full day virtual event of all fabulous cake artists on there. And they've got Lick on Me on there as well. And um, I, I've got three little videos that I'm showing. It's just one minute videos for you to show. And um, there's a little discount voucher on there as well to so make sure you watch it. Um, so we asked have we got any sneaky pic pictures of the apron. Oh yes, do you want me to get the apron? Let me just find it one second. Let's see if we can get it on the camera. So we're gonna have three we're gonna have three different styles. We're gonna have the, the double layered one. I don't know what they call that. Let me just get it because I've got it on my pictures. Um the double layered, the single layered and the butcher's one. Oh they are let me just see this is the lady who's made the uh, chocolate macarons with our whipping it up. Can you see that Simon? Look at them. So I'm going to get that recipe on the website sometime over the weekend. I, don't, I thought I might have the weekend off, but I don't think it's going to happen, is it? <laughs> We've got too many things to do. So I've got to get those on. And um, who was the lady who made them? I'm not sure if she's watching tonight. And there's a few people asking about the eBay page for sugar and crumbs. The eBay page, if you're looking for... Um, International shipping. If you're looking for the minis, just wait. If you're looking for the, the minis from Russia, just wait. Let me find these pinnies. Let me find these pinnies. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, isn't it? Pinnies. Just hang on a second. So I hope you really enjoyed tonight. Don't disappear. Right, there they are. So let me just... Can you see that on the camera, Simon? So, sorry, I was just turning it that way. So I'll just turn it up there. And look how pretty they are. They have the Sugar and Crumbs logo on, the Whipping It Up logo on, and the Sprinklicious. The Sprinklicious is our sprinkles. And this one is the double-layered one. Oh, sorry. It's the double-layered one. So we'll just take that down a bit. Then we've got one. Oh, wait, there we go. One second. Then we've got the one that hasn't got the... See so yeah, how that's got a frilly underskirt? This one hasn't. And then we've got the Butcher's one. Which isn't flattering the butchers one, but they're for girls like me with big boobs who want to keep them all tucked in. <laughs> and I've asked them to make a bigger bib. So I'll probably look like a barrel when I'm wearing that, but I'll be happier. Yeah? So do you like them? I don't know if you can see them well enough. Oh yeah. can you see the yeah. logo? Yeah, a minute, let's see. Oh that's yeah. good. Right, that's us done, isn't it? So I don't think Simon can cope anymore with food. Yeah, that, was, that was good. Kind Is of that good? Done, Should yeah. we finish now and go? He's so you can print. get his tea. <laughs> so thank you for joining us and we will see you Monday. And I will definitely do the cup and saucer next Thursday. And what did I say I'd do on... Um, did I say I'd do Friday? What did I say I'd do on Friday? You didn't. I did. They said, uh, they said they wanted me to do something on Friday. You'll have to remind me. I can't remember. But I said I'd take Karen's Friday off her. Yes, you do. To do something. Yeah. If anyone can remember, post it up what I said I would do. But anyhow, that's the case.
So enjoy yourself. Go and have a super night. And thank you for watching me. Do like and share. And thank you for being a big supporter of Sugar and Crumbs. That's what, very, very important to us. We're a fab company. As much as I say it myself, we have a fabulous team here. And now I'm just waffling and going on with myself. So tra. <laughs> Bye. Night. Bye. 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 Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Simon. Bye. Thank you.